NCRP Productions presents Unhallowed Metropolis, Secrets in the Sands, Episode 19. Well, good evening again. Welcome to Unhallowed Metropolis, Secrets in the Sands. This is Barry, your Game Master. I'm going to run around the room real quick, and then we will uh, start. Hi, I'm Jill, and I'm playing Raya the Mortar. Hi, it's Matt, and I'm playing Aiden the Antiquarian. Hello, this is Michael. I'm playing Dr. Everett Wolf, the doctor specializing in chemistry and alchemy. Hello, everyone. It's Ty. I'm running Ray Callahan, our pugilist. Hi, it's Sequoia, and I'm running Frankie, the undertaker. Hey, everybody. It's Pedro. I'm running Dr. Desmond Wright. Okay, so last episode, I'll start with the easy (laughs) side of things. You guys have now taken over basically three houses on the block. (laughs) (laughs) You have have Aiden's shop. Which downstairs has his store, which includes everything from direct antiquities to curios. On the second floor is his living space. There's no one there right now. Next door is the house that Aiden has gone ahead and rented from the couple that normally lives there. The downstairs is a business, but has been cleared away to allow for you guys to, some of you, be downstairs living behind different partitions, and a few of you upstairs in rooms. Upstairs in rooms are Cal and Maroud, the Billings, and Dr. Wright for upstairs. Downstairs, everyone else is cut by partitions. Currently, in that home, we have Dr. Wright, Cal and Maroud. Cal still rehabbing the, the wound in the leg. And the Billings, which you guys aren't really sure what's going on, but uh, oh, we're sure. we all believe. <laughs> <laughs> Next door are the Billings. I will say we don't understand it, <laughs> but we know. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Next door, we have the Iwans home. This is the, the people that you guys have realized from direct contact, but also a few things that Aiden has said, were fairly obnoxious as neighbors, always being pestery and checking in. Well, this is their comeuppance. Yes, this, this most definitely is. I'm sorry. In the house right now are the remainder of the characters. So we have Raya, we have Aiden, we have Dr. Wolf, we have Ray, we have Frankie. Uh-huh. And what's just happened is Frankie was doing Frankie's best, not having been raised with social graces in trying to console... <laughs> Damn! <laughs> trying to console... The broom. There, there. There, there. <laughs> See, the Iwans are a cautionary tale. This is what happens when you don't mind your business. <laughs> so, they Frankie stick their nose to... in our business, we send three to the morgue. Wait. <laughs> Hold so, on. Frankie, in trying to uh, get Mrs. Iwan... To calm down, she breaks into tears. Mm -hmm. Frankie does the attempted hug because that's what he's seen people do. (laughs) The children start crying as well. There's three of them, and the three boys kind of clump, clomp in to try and get around Frankie, but more to get to mom. Eventually, there's pushing, hair pulling, and then a a push to the floor, and they start fighting because they all want to be next to mom. Everyone's kind of looking. Aiden (laughs) kind of takes a turn towards figuring out what they're doing. And while this is going on, Mrs. Iwan, oh, and we forgot one other person. The Iwan grandfather, mm-hmm. Mrs. Iwan's father, the maternal grandfather, is laying down on the floor. Mm-hmm. Dr. Wolf has been working with him. Mrs. Iwan steps Probably. back from Frankie and says, oh my God, in Egyptians, so only two of you know what, he's say- what she's saying, plus the father, the grandfather, and she runs up the stairs. Mm-hmm. So we will start there. She is running up the stairs. What are you guys doing? Specifically, uh, especially shite. Frankie. Well, we've got all the, all the body parts out. Yes, you have the sloughed skin <laughs> from last time out. So I'm not going to really do anything about that. Okay. So she runs up the stairs. <laughs> you you hear her run upstairs, thump, 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 thump. <laughs> and then you can hear her walking very slowly. Everybody is suddenly silent. Yeah. Just kind of watching as we are at the table. Wolf, yeah, essentially. Wolf, Wolf's, Wolf's <laughs> trying to brace himself because he's been feeling, like, especially when she started shouting at him, there's just been this... I had dragged me his hands head. into the room because they were... The, the room being things. being a, the back room? Yeah. The other thing that, that I'll re-mention to everyone to remind you guys, we, we did the plague thing and burned the bedding, and there's an expectation yeah. that you guys are going to stay quarantined in the house for 24 hours. Uh-huh. Yeah. In addition to that... Aiden went around and painted lamb's blood on all of the, the houses, painting this house as a plague house. So, 
it's the, Egypt. There's lamb's yeah. blood. There's one other thing is that just comes with buckets in the mail. I think Doctor <laughs> Wolf bucket. wanted to describe how he looked shirtless. Is that accurate? Yeah. Well, I, I forgot to mention that because I thought, I hadn't thought about the fact that he's had such a dramatic like shift in his body and everything like that. Now, sure. obviously, no one else has seen him shirtless. But even then, did you take off your? Wait, did I miss the part where you, you took your we shirt? We all took our clothes off. Yeah, da, da, remember? Da, 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 da. Oh, you burned them. Oh my god, that's right. You're in shrimps, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, we yeah, have Wolf's basically just in his underwear right now. <laughs> but otherwise, it's like, and he looks like someone who should be like, uh, for lack of a better term, it's not like he's like been hitting the weights or anything like that. But he looks like someone who's run every day of his life at least 10 miles, done push ups and stuff. He's very well, like, you know. He's toned. He's very toned. He looks like he's probably in some places maybe a little bulkier than in areas that he normally should be. But other than that, wait, 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 but, say but, that well, again. Well, you are bulking in areas where they shouldn't be. Well, well, no, well, normally, well, you would think like with the tone, it's like with yeah, the way, oh yeah, he's toned and stuff like that. But is like I don't know, I don't know. My my, my description's off. It's been a long day. <laughs> so. <laughs> Okay. Now I'm very curious. I just got those eyebrow time. muscles. <laughs> right, right. He's, he's got the Neanderthal <laughs> head. But no, no, no. I feel like when you no, get no. to this his, part, his third should... ab and pectoral. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I feel like when you get to this part of the description, you should start playing the floor in the back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's not that jacked. Come on, he can't be. So you went from flabby doctor to. It wasn't flabby. It was just kind of like. Skinny. I think he went from average doctor to you know professional boxer is kind of the way yeah yeah I is, is it. sort of where that's kind of going. I don't I don't envision you having hulking muscles. No. I envision you being thick Wait, and toned. I imagine yeah. I'm looking like Ian McGregor or what or that. MMA guy is. He's just like uh, wired. You and McGregor would be the actor that yeah, played. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> Connor McGregor. Yeah, yeah, I go with that. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. he's he's definitely like. That's not what you would expect it under the clothes. <laughs> Conor McGregor in, in Victorian age uh, uh, underwear. Right. Yeah. All right. With uh, nerd head. But that right. fits it perfectly. With, with nerd crazy head. Okay. <laughs> just the... All right. I don't know about nerd head, but you know. <laughs> You've got, hopefully everyone's seen the image. So it's All right. a very so, square job. I feel terrible because I think we're going to have to put the you and McGregor on the YouTube. <laughs> and I, think, I feel like we're going to get in trouble for that. But anyway, uh, coming back so. So Aiden has pulled the kids out. So yes, in, in <laughs> silence, you guys listen to her run up the stairs. The running stops, turns into walking. You start hearing her retch. The walking continues. She wails, and then you hear her vomit. You hear the stuff hitting the floor up right. there. And she is crying, just bawling at this point. <laughs> Everybody's standing here downstairs. Stand there like, <laughs> Maya, uh, that's a shit show. Maya is outside. <laughs> Raya is outside tending the fire. I'm gonna okay. Okay. Right. Wolf's going to count to five to Wait try and keep himself calm, Wait and then he's going to go up to try to bring her down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. So Frankie is out tending the clothes. Raya is still out tending the clothes. Aiden is keeping control of the kids. Ray is just standing there, right? I have to follow him because I know he's going to go try and talk to the wife, try to make her feel better, right. but he doesn't and, speak and Egyptian. And you, Dr. Wolf, <laughs> are going to leave your charge who's there on the floor. Well, he's currently well, he's currently out. Yes, he um, is currently out. I, I, I wasn't make sure saying he stays right out. wrong. I was just yeah. trying to make certain yeah, 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 yeah. I'm leaving him down there for right now because right now she's kind of okay. Do you okay. walk up or run up? Um, I'm walking up. I'm not going to... Ray leave. follows? Yes. Very good. So, as you get up... He grudgingly. There, as you get up there, you, you can see she has basically vomited down the hallway. Mm. She is not in the hallway, <laughs> Oh, God. Is she just like... <laughs> <laughs> that, just, that's more just, likely than you think. <laughs> not, not like a snail trail. Why is it going on the wall and then perfectly back down? My, my mom has a very... Funny story she used to like to tell about when I got sick and I ran from my bedroom vomiting to tell her I was puking and then ran back up the hall when she said, Don't tell, go, go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right. Well, Mrs. Iwan didn't do that. So <laughs> straight, straight run down the hallway and then you can see by the shadows that she is in the room. Okay. She is just crying. You just hear her bawling. So I'm carefully as I can across this stuff. 
I'm going to a break my make my approach to her and I'm going So to... as you get to the room where you can see her, she is kneeling in her own vomit, mm. just oh. facing where <laughs> the structure of the bed is. We've decided that we pulled all of the Fabulous. bedding out, all yeah. of the everything. Everything. So the picture, have you been in there, Dr. Wolf? I don't think yeah. you have. Yeah, he, we, he, Oh you were. So yeah, so it's nothing strange to you. Yeah. Black, black goo across the side walls <laughs> yeah. from everyone smacking and beating on that thing. Yeah. I haven't uh, seen how much they've stripped out of it yet. But I mean I've yeah. seen it like being taken down. <laughs> so she is on her knees. She has her elbows on her knees and her hands in her face, and she is just bawling. She is, you can see a bit of the vomit dribbling between the hands from her face. You can hear her snorting. The standard things you do when everything is coming out of your face all at once. What do you do? <sighs> okay. I, at this point, I'm like going, uh, I should have I probably got, grabbed a rag or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Wolf, you know, Wolf probably has more intelligence to do this. You probably at least grabbed a rag to like, you know, try to, to help like light. So you Wipe sit back downstairs and go grab a rag? Yeah, Cause, yeah. Because you would, I would imagine, being who you are, yeah. you would immediately reach into your breast pocket to grab your, oh, you're not wearing a shirt, but the yeah. handkerchief. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm yeah. assuming that you're going to quickly push past Ray and run downstairs. Ray, yeah. are you doing anything while he runs downstairs and runs back up? Just kind of watching him go downstairs. Okay. And so you grab I'm all in the, the rags that you're yeah. using with, yeah, the, yeah. with the father. And uh, grab, put, put some water so at least it's cool and, you know, helps to clean off. And gotcha. I'm going to get out. Get back up there, and I'm going to try to put, like, you know, get over to her. Mom and I'm used to. Yeah, I'm sure. used to this stuff. <laughs> it's the nicest thing in this room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, you know, ignoring everything else, I've, I've lived through this shit, unfortunately. And if I remember correctly, Ray, you've also been in this room. I don't know how much I saw, but I had to come up here to save him. And the, uh, and, the and the older guy. So right. yes, so, and you I pulled am... him out, right? Mm -hmm. So the the key was, I know that you're wearing the gas mask. Mm -hmm. That's the normal English brass rings, that type mm -hmm. of thing. And so there's almost no smell that leaks in. You would now be used to it. Mm -hmm. Not that you revel in it, but mm -hmm. are you? He, so you approach Doctor Wolf. What do you do? She's yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna gently like you know put a hand on on the small of her back just to uh, there's a. There's a presence here. So you touch her. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and give me a coordination roll. Uh oh. Ray, have you followed him into the room or are you standing at the doorway? I am. It's standing, not a big room. I'm standing just in the doorway. So just I'm in, in the, room. the doorway. That's a 12. Are we going with the door? I'm going with the door. All right, very good. So you touch her. She spins around, pulls her hands off her face, which flings vomit oh. and snot all over your front, and she starts screaming. Ray, she is screaming. What did you do? What did you do? She is just screaming it over and over. And she's grabbing at your body, pulling herself, not, not putting digging claws into you, but pulling herself. And she starts, how tall are you? I'm, uh, I'm trying to remember. I think Wolf's like 5'8". All right. So remember she's in the 5'4 range, so she doesn't come all the way up. She is just beating you in the chest. It is ineffectual punches. It's not clean. There's the gross going everywhere. But she is just beating on you, screaming, what did you do, what did you do? And it's over and over and over again. Uh, you, you got this, Doc? There's, um... Oh, this is this is where I'm I'm having to go with, like, you know, which, which reaction do I want to go with here? <laughs> it's it's going to depend on a, on a throw. Okay, odds I'm okay. So, the beast inside Wolf yes. wants to pretty much grab her and... Throw her against a wall. It sure. wants to do this, and there's a there's almost a moment where he's about like his hand starts to go up, but then he stops, and he knows she's angry, and the only thing he can do at this moment to keep himself from just you know throttling her is to do the Pull same thing. Frank, hold, Ew. hold, <laughs> and it's gross. It's gross, unfortunately, but it's it's going to keep at least the beating to a minimum, and at the very least, like you know. Maybe at the very least try to somewhat calm her down for the moment. And he's going to try. I mean, he obviously can't speak Egyptian, but just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you're, you're trying sorry. to console. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, well, for you, your time at university, do you envision that you did very much with the general medicine? Well, did you spend much time in surgery, in the surgical? Uh, not labs? Yeah, surgical labs. That's what I meant. Mm -hmm. Well, in university, 
despite the alchemy, I mean, you had to do the surgery stuff. I sure. Mean, there's no way he wasn't, I mean, if he well, can no, recognize no. his stitch and, we, and stuff like that. And we've that, discussed the fact that you had it. I'm just saying, how did you do much of it? Obviously, Dr. Wright did yeah. quite a bit. That was the direction he was well, going. Well, remember. You, you did. Well, I don't think in the university labs. I don't know about that, but I know Wolf has. No, 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 like, I didn't mean specifically labs. That's you're right. That's why I didn't mean labs. University in general, spending time with people. Did you do much? Wolf, Wolf. Uh, this is where the murder of crows merit comes in for him. Wolf maybe now doesn't run in like the hospitals or stuff. He has his own clinic okay. that he oh, that he runs. It's like a it's a free clinic for the most part. He doesn't make anything off it. Basically, whatever he's paid by the government for his research with the rope serum and stuff, he just pours into the resources for this for this thing so we can help the less fortunate and those that need him. And since you brought it up, tell us a little bit about what the Murder of Crows, that is That is a, uh, a boon? Yes, that is a boon. Uh, the Murder of Crows is boon right is name? essentially... Quality. Quality, that's quality. quality. Yeah. There yeah, we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Quality boon merit. It's you know they're all interchangeable. I, I want to be accurate for, for the unhallowed metropolis role playing game that someone might play at some point. Hopefully, listening to us. So, but, murder of crows. Murder of crows is basically, um, it, and and it depends on on the flavor of of how your character does it. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the doctor or sort of thing. It could be like someone who has a lot of contacts in the underground of the city. But generally, it's the people. People, because you perform a service or you're well liked or something, people people know of you. They'll usually give you a heads up if something bad is coming your way because of the word on the street and stuff like that. That's wonderful. Because you're you're someone who can actually. Is and that and that works well for you with the free clinic. Yeah. So, Doctor Wolf, you've put your arms around her. Mm -hmm. She's still beating on you. Do you pull her towards you, which would reduce her flinging the hands? Yes. Okay. Yes. And go ahead and give me a charm roll. Yeah. Let's see how oh, that goes with his Reach the sidebar. Yes. Um. Frankie's <laughs> trying to make her cry and the playing hot potato with them, so he's gonna announce hot potato and then flick an ember at you. Oh my god! <laughs> um. When you flick an ember at me, I'm going to quick draw. Okay. My uh, exculpus. And bat it right back at you with the flat of the blade. Yes, I'm it. trying to trick her into playing, and I succeeded. Yes, you did. So I whack it back. That's okay. just a sidebar. All right. <laughs> <laughs> playing what? with all fire. Right. Yeah, right, right. Playing with fire in a in a tinder filled house. Um, all right. So back <laughs> they're, 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 outside. they're outside. Well, still. All right. So we'll come back to the conflagration. So, <laughs> Fifteen. So, Fifteen. Full. Fifteen. So. Even though you're not speaking her language, you are able to get her to change. She stops, and she just starts wailing, Ray, my husband, my husband. But she's getting quieter, and it turns into just sobbing. Mm -hmm. This goes for a few minutes, mm -hmm. and she starts to relax in your mm -hmm. arms. She is now starting to become a little more dead weight. You mm -hmm. think if you let her go, she will slump. Yeah, what Wolf, do you do? Wolf's going to, you know, gently, like, try to guide her as best she he can on our... He's not going to, like, I mean, he's going to keep, like, an arm looped underneath, so if she does, like, you know, try to, uh, starts to stumble or fall, he's there to control it. He's going to, like, be still remain calm and using the damp cloth, wipe her face, mm -hmm. try to keep at least that kind of, kind of okay. deal going there, so at least she's somewhat clean in the face, if not definitely the rest of the clothing, unfortunately. But, but, you know, guide her back downstairs. <laughs> no. All right. So, and Ray, you're going to fall. Yep. So... I do want to make something to remind you guys if you didn't think about it. This is her house. Yes. She is in horribly discolored clothes. Mm -hmm. Disgorged with all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Just to mention that to you. Yeah. Jeez, lady, do you ever clean this place up? <laughs> 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 wow. Go to the banister, the Too dust. soon? Too soon? <laughs> so, eight, with, with the kids. You grab the two older kids. The younger one, of course, keeps coming in, but you know that his, his whacking the other ones is not going to do anything. So you bring them basically into their kitchen area, the right. back area. Uh, what do you tell them? What are you doing? Um, saying you get in that corner and you get in that corner and don't make a sound. Do you, are you going to do this by an intimidation type of thing or by a niceness type of thing? Uh, <laughs> roll your shirt. <laughs> I'm going to roll unarmed combat to smack this. <laughs> <laughs> that time of day I'm, I'm tempted to just show up the gun. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to just 
in a parental sort of tone. Very good. Give me a psychology roll. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't have that. Give me a charm. <laughs> I got Give me a charm. Though. If you guys had a doctor, other than Volk, if you guys had a medical, pure medical doctor, I just want to be Volk. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. God dang. Nice. Oh, wait, no, Double that's right. That's yeah. Ted. Yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah, that's crit. <laughs> so, uh, I can't remember the last time one of us got that. Double zeros. Wow. Okay. So, they kind of stiffen, and each of the boys goes to the corner, and you say, the little one just stops and Kind of looks back and forth and just looks at you. <laughs> Chair. Now. And he laughs over the chair. <laughs> but he does scooch, 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 turn the chair so he can watch what you realize is going on outside, which is these two smacking a flaming ember back and forth with their weapons. <laughs> and doing it very well. <laughs> <laughs> They're worse than it's the Right. <laughs> 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 you know, you can't see <laughs> Matt's face right now, but it was a, literally a rub, take off his glasses, rub his face, and go, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, Dr. Wolf, you get her downstairs. Again, you know that there are couches that you can set her on. Yeah. There's yeah. the pillows on the floor that you can yeah. set her to. Yeah. Do you take her towards the father? Do you take her towards the couch? I'm not, I'm not taking her to the dad. I don't need both of them <laughs> close, close together. I'm going to put her onto the couch, so... Okay, yeah. so you can get everyone under control. There's nothing else specifically that's going to happen in here unless you guys want to do something in one of the rooms. Is there anything that anyone else wants to do? Because I'd like to move over to the other no, side. No, I think good. Dr. Wright, what are you doing? <laughs> feeling pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, feeling pretty awesome, like surprisingly so. Um, I wish I could say suspiciously so, but I believe that it's not mm -hmm. You feel awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, if I remember right, last... Last week I, I, I administered yeah. the perfectly normal according to you stitch. Mm -hmm. uh, that went well. Yep. Uh, and now I'm just like going stir crazy. Okay, so some things. What's, to yeah, what's happening in my house right now? Well, you know, Marud <laughs> is upstairs making sure right. <laughs> Marud is upstairs making sure Cal is fine. If you sit completely quiet or stand completely quiet, you can hear low talk between Billings and. My Ling. It sounds nicer than it sounds argumentative. I don't, you know? I don't give two craps about <laughs> Billings, though, is the problem. You can, you can, if you're that quiet, you can hear this tink, tink, tink coming from outside. If I go to a window, can I see what the heck Yeah, is? you can, well, no, you cannot yeah. because of the fence. So, but Billings the tinking is, is, definitely to coming, <laughs> is definitely coming from next door. Oh, you okay. know, to be devil's advocate here, nobody is keeping you Yeah, here. right. You and that was going to be the next thing I was going to tell you. I was imagining risky business. He just goes, like, <laughs> <laughs> So, Dr. Wright, you yeah. have tried three different times to get out, and somebody has always scolded you back inside. Yeah. You know about the plague symbol having been written over the house there. You know that they should stay there for 24 hours. I don't believe you were consulted, so I don't know that I you was know not. for sure. Right. <laughs> so, Diabolical genius. You made Cairo wait to escape. If you chose to go there. I'm trying to think if there was anything in Cairo that was interesting to well because I, I bought my mask you have your mask you if i remember correctly you were not one of the ones who got new clothing no i did get new clothing. did you get new so yeah, you have so new I have clothing my, as well so you know what i'm gonna do so i want to throw out there yeah. you do know from the gripes that billings wanted to go to the national national history museum and he also wanted to see if he could go by and look at the home of the Caliph, up on the hillside. What is this? The fair? Citadel. The, so, what do you do <laughs> So the Caliph is... I'm smart Frankie. enough, and Dr. Wright's smart enough to know, he should not go to the Caliph's palace. No, no. no. <laughs> All right, but... but uh, yeah. <laughs> what I'm getting at is, Billings, you know, wanted to look at it. Yeah. Not go explore it. The museum. Well, if there was anything... Since I have time, if there was anything <laughs> that would lead us to where... Grayling wanted it to go, that would be it. Does anyone else so, see that the panel coming across yeah. in the same writing, Dr. Wright stay off? <laughs> <Yeah>. so, <laughs> here's what I'm going to do. I know that they have to be over there. Mm -hmm. I know that Dr. Wolf isn't going to let anybody out of quarantine, no. or I will shame him. <laughs> um, no, I, you, you, he, is, he is, for all the joking between you guys, yeah, yeah. he is a consummate yeah. physician. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to put on my new garb, Yep. put on my new mask, Yes. I don't have the sash. The okay. doctor sash. I don't right. have that. No, I know what you meant. 
Underneath my clothing, I will put on my new uh, bandolier that I got. Okay. Uh, I always have my gun. Yep. I always have my gun. And I'm going to oh, no. go to my room and put my cane there. Because mm -hmm. they were very specific who they were looking for. And Absolutely. you can't see my face with this thing no. on, right? With the mask no, on? so it's yeah. the, the canvas mask covers right below the yeah. eyes. Allows you fairly free breathing. It's not perfection. It is still ha gives a little bit of that, that cough and tickle to the throat. But overall, it reduces some of the heat that's coming in. You actually feel more discomfort from the heat around you coming in through the clothing than through the canvas mask. And I'm trying to think, you know what? I will go invite Billings and Maylene because best case, I just have somebody there to take the fall. Actually, no, no. Best case is he gets, he gets captured. Um, <laughs> so case, I do, I do yeah. want to remind, again... We do get a little bit off track. Yeah. Billings is is the reason you guys are able to that's ride true, the, the Zeppelin. So, all right, for for all the Grayling people, which is <laughs> four of you, Grayling is less than ten percent current ownership of the Zeppelin company. When it gets built, it's not built yet. So, you know, somebody would so getting him killed. Paperwork, would, no, but, but getting him killed would be bad. Yeah, yeah we're going to dilute those shares, though. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah. So I will go after getting dressed yeah, up, and I will knock on their door. Okay. There's just a minute, and Maylene comes to the door, and, and she says, opens and says, uh, "Doctor, yes, what?" Hello, Maylene. I was wondering if you and Billings might want to accompany me to the Natural History Museum. From behind her, you hear, my word, of course, yes! And you hear feet <laughs> hit the floor, and she just, she, if, if looks could kill, yeah. at least 15 times over, you'd be dead. I did, uh, <laughs> right. But she, she holds her face in check, and she says, uh, yes, Doctor, I, I believe we will accompany you. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Just a moment, and... There is definitely a slam to that shutting door. <laughs> I think at least I'm not the one she's mad at. There's now. some very, there's some very quiet, heightened speech. And ten minutes in, they come out. She is, she is dressed similar to you. She is wearing the the style and clothing for the people there. She's not wearing the flowy robe. She's wearing more of the the open pocketed top and pants. Billings is still dressed as a proper Englishman. Top hat, cane, uh, not gloves. You, you, you quickly notice that there are components of the garb that are not there. He's not wearing the, the vest, but he's still wearing the coat. He has a cane. He has the cane. Okay. Hmm. So since I don't... But he does not have an eye patch. By the way, do you have an eye patch still? I do. All right, very good. He does not have an eye patch. Oh, shoot. They mentioned that, didn't they? That was something they said. Ten dollars. Somebody's gonna think he's something like what? Well, well, he's got an eye patch. Well, he's got an eye patch. However, eye patches, I mean, eye patches are not uncommon. Okay, go ahead and give me a wits roll. Only scoundrels and scallywags. Somebody with a fucked up <laughs> you can... eye. They're just looking for someone with an eye patch. Why don't you <laughs> just walk billings. around with a fucked uh, up eye? Just give it to eye. Billings. Yeah. Nobody's gonna say anything. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Billings. Billings, my old chap, would you mind? <laughs> would you mind <laughs> holding this for the me? The Englishman with a cane? With a. <laughs> Did you say wit roll? Wit roll, please. Uh, saying, he's just gonna walk over to a guard. Psst, you're looking for that. Okay, that's better. 21. <laughs> right. With a 21, as horrible as it, 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 it is to you, there are quite a number of people that you have seen, especially walking in the poor areas, that are missing an eye. So you already know that. You can lose, for theft, you can lose a hand. You know that you can lose an arm. You definitely know you can lose your life. But you notice that it is not uncommon, now that you're thinking about it, for somebody to be missing other parts. A cut, a cut portion of the ear. An eye missing. A nose being chopped off. This seems like a very brutal country when it comes to that. They do tend, what you see, they do tend to either be what appear to be poor from, from surface look, and a few, not all, but a few of the EMP will have those kind of wounds. So, um, Not missing hands, but... <laughs> while they... Because you said it's going to take them a minute to get ready, right? It's about 10 minutes yeah. that they... While they do on. that, I want to go to my room mm -hmm. and make uh, a makeshift, like, not... Ra I want to basically cut up a, a ribbon of one of my shirts and okay. make an eye patch, because... Okay. As opposed to just using a bandage? 
Oh, yeah, I lose a bandage. That makes sense. <laughs> Give me an ant roll or else you're cutting up your shirt. That's fine. I mean, honestly, he's, he's a wacky doctor. Uh, ant roll, that's uh, the 18. Right, so, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so you're like, oh, wait, instead of enough. cutting this wonderful <laughs> shirt up that I will have to replace it sometime in the future, you wrap your head in bandage. Cool. Yeah, that works. <laughs> I'll wrap my, well, yeah, one right. eye in that. So. Very good. Cool. And um, do you wrap the gauze light enough that you can see through it, at least at a yeah. haze level, or is it... Yeah, yeah, I still want to okay. have some function through Very it. Very good. And then... Oh, my depth perception. <laughs> I will tell Billings, uh, Billings, my boy, you're going to want to leave that here. At the cane. Avoiding the cane, he says, oh, uh, what? you think it'll be in, in, in covering, I, I understand. Oh, okay. And he turns around and, and brings back in the room oh, without saying much else. <laughs> when he walks away, Mei Ling says, What do you have going on, Doctor? What are you thinking? Yeah, and it sounds very much like a angry, nearly threatening, but she's rushing to get you to talk yeah. quick before he comes back. Well, Mei Ling, I may have just saved Billings from getting mistaken by for me by keeping him to have that cane. She smiles. And Billings walks back, and then she the smile turns to a frown because she was waiting for more. And uh, Billings says, well, well, lead on. Let's go. Where, where were you thinking first, Doctor, right? Well, I, our uh, companions next door have, uh, they're working on something, so they'll need to be there for a little bit of time. Uh, <laughs> I just want to uh, explore the natural history oh, museum. Boring. I believe uh, what Grayling said is here, there might be a clue there or something of note. So might as well... Use the time we have. And Mei Ling just looks at you with this terrible stare and says, You're intending to walk? Well, uh, we could take the car. Do you know where the car is? Oh, I'm sure it can't be hard to find. It has to be around the house somewhere. Grand Theft Auto Cairo. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll... I mean, it has to be somewhere, right? It does have to be <laughs> So I'll go to the back of the house. That's where I would think. Right? Well, the back of the house is a dirt mound outside oh, no, of his I'm gonna go to yard. Aaron's house. That's where it would be. Or not Aaron. Aiden. Aiden's house. All right. Who's the Aaron? back of his house is a little farther out, but is also a dirt mound, which leads down, down a hillside towards the temples. There is no street back there. There would be no car park back there. And there is there are no garages as you look around. Where the hell, where the hell's the car? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Mei Ling, you have a good point. I guess I didn't really think that far. How far could it be? Uh, but then again, actually, I don't know this town very well. <laughs> Billing says, I'm certain between the two of us, you know, jolly good intelligent men, we could find our way there. I am fairly certain the directions. Yes, Ray. Um... I hate to say this, but um, Billings might actually know how to get it if he was paying attention enough when I drove him by it. The oh, to the to the natural history museum. Oh yeah, yeah. no 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 no. Okay. He, actually, when you guys drove here from the airport, which I'll comically remind the airfield, I'll comically remind you is I believe only three days ago. <laughs> uh, you did drive by it. Would I? Um, There's even I'm a reasonable gonna... chance you would remember. I'll make I'll make a roll for it, but I don't sure. know if I would be paying attention. So that's the problem. So what the what you won't find is the car because if I remember correctly, Ray parks it down a side street that's quite a ways away, Damn like it, Ray. a <laughs> couple of minutes walk away. Right? Isn't that what we've been doing? Pretty much. It's not something we want to like publicly introduce. That oh, Aiden just has a car, right. so it's right. kind of stowed away. You can't a little go bit. talk to any of them because they'll just bother me. Right, they'll stop you. Right. So, <laughs> what are you doing, right? Yes. Are we off on the walk? I believe <laughs> we are off on the walk. Just no take reason. a jaunt, and I, I am car? going to pay attention to where we're going because I want to be able to find the way back. Very good. So, really, if there's nothing specific that you want to do, I'm going to run you quickly through the move. And I'm also going to tell him to not mention my name in public. Oh, very good. Mysterious, but very good. Yes, that's how I like it. All right. So, there, if there's nothing specific that you want to do along the way, as you walk through, you're going to you're gonna walk right past the Iwan's house, but you're walking down that street. As you make the corner at the far end of the street, you know that you're going to be heading out of these two- to three-story homes, a residence area, and you're going to be heading back into a tenement area, which is going to be shorter houses with many more people in it. As you come around that corner, you finally get to see what the gunshots were. There are a number of areas that have been marked off with what looks like maybe chalk on the street, where there's nothing there now, 
but they're they, they don't they look like they probably were bodies. Somebody didn't outline like every finger or anything like that. But you knowing what what the shape of a normal body is, it looks like these were bodies dropped. And there are five of these little outlines here. Yes, but I forgot to mention something. I don't want to bring my valise because okay. that's pretty obvious. Um, but I do want to bring a little um, syringe case. Okay. With just a couple things. Okay, and those well, things uh, are hide. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, it is hide two stitches so and mark off, uh, yeah, mark hide two, two stitches. stitches and no, not yours. I have my own. Oh, okay. Yeah, and some meth. And meth. Yeah. <laughs> I was worried. Yeah. But, uh, true to character. Just in case. So, just in case, um, we might get locked up. So, you guys will head through the tenements. I need you to give me. A vitality roll. Mm. Is it daytime? It is daytime. You are running into the later part of the day, but it is definitely daytime. Vitality, you say? When I picture Billings, I just picture the dad from Tarzan. Uh, Twelve. <laughs> I don't know what you guys? Twelve. Think, yeah. You know, honestly, that's not a bad image. <laughs> so with yeah. with, a, with a twelve, it is definitely very warm. We we are we are verging on uncomfortably hot. You are sweating. The clothing does what, what they suggested it would do. You maintain enough to where you are not panting. But now you realize early on when you were told by Aiden, anywhere you go, you should bring water. And when you were also told by the captain of the Zeppelin the same thing. And they handed you water jugs. I'm going to give you this for free. You guys would have carried them. I, yeah. Because if you didn't, Mei Ling would have said, grab at least one. So you go, you go sparingly through it. You make it through the tenements. As you come out from the tenements, you will be able to see the citadel from here. So, real quick, because you went through it so much faster before, as you walk, you can look at the citadel. It is raised on the hill. It is it is a ways away from the city itself. But the walls, you can see, go right up to it on either side. There seems to be a little bit of a hustle and bustle there. And if you'll give me, it's going to be an extreme roll, but if you will give me a wits roll... Um, Billings will go right by it, but mailing might not. No. Nope. 16. So with a 16, there is definite movement in what appears to be the front courtyard. The Really the only place that you can kind of see into from where you are here. You're not really sure what's going on. But there's something definitely going on up there. You guys will continue on. You will hit what it was the main road. There was a portion where, where Ray pretty much drove straight. For an extended period of time. And as you're walking, because none of you speak Egyptian in the group, as you're walking, you're going to see different signs. There is, however, one that you, you do see a wooden plaque that shows a building. And that number to that building, there is a number on it that's getting progressively small. And, may, and I'm sorry, Billings will say, do you think, do you think that possibly that's the Natural History Museum? Yeah, I mean, sure, I'll go. Not necessarily, yeah. but uh, as you get closer and closer, you guys both believe that is what it is. And you come to the, the bottom set of steps. Yeah. Now, there is the drive to take you up there, and then there are the steps. Going up the steps, there's different statues running up it. Your choice. Are we walking up the drive, or are we going up the steps? Walk up the stairs. All right. So as you guys get to the top of the steps, it's going to be the same situation that they saw, which is... The EMP, there are at least 10 of them out there oh, shit. with full weapons. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, as you come up, one of them will approach. As you get to the top of the steps, one of them is going to approach you. He's going to speak in Egyptian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, no, no. I, I thought of this. I know. And I'm going to say... Um, yeah, what uh, say? Yeah. <laughs> well, pardon me. I, I don't speak Egyptian. Do you, do you know... Uh, do you or anybody speak English? Okay, so he, he was going to be able to identify that you're not speaking Egyptian and you're speaking something that he thinks he knows. So he'll look at you, put his hand up, and then much more firmly put his hand up in front of you a second time with, with stern face, say something, but realize it's not going to make any sense to you. And then he walks away and Mei Ling says, I think he said stay. That's what I would uh, assume. So he goes over, he talks to a couple different of the guys standing there. One of them with that looks to be bigger, and when I say bigger, remember the ENP 10 between 
five six and five nine, where the average people here are five five four to five six for the men and the women, or maybe five foot to five two ish area, maybe a little shorter. Um, this guy is maybe a step over, possibly five ten, but towers over even the the few others that are there, and is much larger. He he nods and he walks past. You see one vehicle. Again, something different than what you're used to. There's a gas-powered truck that's here. You also see two vehicles that look a little more normal to you. They look old, not out of style per se for, for uh, Britain, for London, but they look old to you. He walks past behind the truck, and then moments later, a, a very small, perfunctory man comes, comes out, and he kind of walks a little bit quicker pace up to you, and, and uh, he, he says, what can we do for you? It doesn't look like he's being rude. It looks like he's thinking every word as best he can through. Uh, so I'll try and be simple. Uh, Hello, thank you. We... Can we go inside? Billings steps forward. <laughs> Billings, a moment... Mayling puts her hand out and pushes it back. We were hoping to see the museum. Is it open? He immediately says no. And then he thinks, and he just he just says, soon. And he points it at a watch and runs his hand around the watch once and twice. He says, days? Is, is days Two, is okay. day, two days. Two days. Okay. Uh, he nods. He seems like he's very proud of himself. Yeah. Yes, two days. Okay. I'll look. I'll look around. Uh, actually, it'd probably be a bad idea to ask what's happening. <laughs> I mean, never stopped you. Before. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sure. Why not? Is everything okay? Uh, it's just a museum. Yes. Wow. All right. So he's he is definitely following what you're saying. He he says yes. Museum, yes. Changing the... And he's fumbling with his hands. He says a word, and Mei Ling looks at him weird and says a word that you're fairly certain is Chinese, and he, he nods his head and says, says the same word she says. She said, they're changing the statues, as best I understand. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> And he, he nods and says the Chinese word as, again and says inside. Two days. Two days. Well, that's disheartening. Wish I'd known that before we walked all the way over here. <laughs> and he does he's not moving away. Like he yeah. you know he said his piece, but he's not moving from there. I hate how pushy I am. So so no there's so there is no way we could go in before two days. He, he shakes and says no. Two days. No, uh, go in. No, um, go in. Are there any other museums we could see? He looks, what you think is, out over the town. Just kind of does does a, the, the long stare. And he looks in the direction of the airfield, as you kind of take a quick look there. And he says, he would say it, hangers. Uh, air, airfield. Hangers, airfield. Makes most motion with his hand to look like uh, the hand coming together, and he says, "Museum." Billy says, "It's it's smaller, it's smaller than this." Say, like, do you think Billings sure is kind of getting like this is a game? I'll say, um, "Thank you for your time. Uh, we will be going." And he just he nods his head and then still standing there. Okay. <laughs> and so I'll 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 look real quick. I just want to. What I'm doing is looking up at the museum. Sure. So, I don't think there's any way I'm getting in there, is there? Probably not. It no. would be you dodging at least ten that you can see of the ENP. So there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so the the actual museum stands at least two stories in height at the apex. It's got a roundness to the front. The truck is blocking your view of the entrance, but you've seen it, and there are plates of glass that front this. Uh. It, it's modern in the sense of the old portions of London. But you've seen a few pictures in the newspaper of modern in the United States from years ago, and it's not that modern. Hmm. 
Okay, and I'm gonna just take a look around. Do I see my wife anywhere? That's an interesting question. You do not. Okay. Don't you see? Your wife was within you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, well then, um, I guess I will head back down the steps, because, okay. uh, say, well, appears we're not getting in there. No, no, no but it was a good try. We did at least get to see it, and, and we did get to see the Citadel. Yes, yes, well, I was really hoping to get in there. Oh, well, and then I'll take steps down, and then take one look back, see if, if he's still there. He is not there anymore. As I, soon as you got down the stairs, you kind of feel like he moved away. So my question to you, to, to move this along, is is there anything else that you will do, or are you guys going to head back? I don't think there's anything. Billings doesn't doesn't ask for anything else, which, knowing him, is kind of an interesting thing. Not that he's... I, we've played him up to be a little uh, buffoonery, but he's he's looking at options. And if you really think about it, what he's really working towards is trying to figure out how he can sell Cairo, Right? If he has the ability to sell Cairo to the wealthy when he sets up the Zeppelin, I mean, you can kind of you can kind of connect the dots on this. But if he's able to sell Cairo once he gets the Zeppelin set up, and if he can make certain that it's, uh, I'm going to use the word safe with big ass air quotes, if it's safe, he could potentially make a lot of money. So Billings comes off for all of you kind of as as, as a bit of a buffoon, but business wise, he's pretty sound. Yeah, he's raised that for a reason. Right. He's pretty sneaky with all of this. Gosh darn, I can't think of anything you okay. I mean, uh, unless it's... No, because I can't talk to anybody. All right. Um, yeah. All right. So, you guys have a nice walk back. I'm going to have you make one more vitality roll. Uh, maybe not. Wait, actually... <laughs> almost I'm going to walk back up the steps, try and get that guy to come back to me. Okay. So, you come up the steps... And immediately the the first the first uh, EMP runs over to you, and 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 <laughs> once, puts once two I hands him, up. Once I see him stopping, he puts hand, two hands up and, and says something again. What do you do? I'll say um, and I'll look for the uh, where is the, the 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 man? Okay, so he he looks at you and he puts another hand out with a very hard look, and this time he does not walk. He runs behind the truck. And the man comes comes doddering back out quickly, and he, he, he says, yes? Uh, forgive me. Go, yes? Uh, is there a library in town? He looks at you for a moment. Books. Thinks for a moment and says, Alexandria, <laughs> you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, and then I'll go. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's not where I. I'm probably not going to. Oh, how far away is Alexandria? No. <laughs> no. Do you want to look on the map? <laughs> no, it's okay. I guess we'll just head back. Okay. So I'm going to move this along for everyone. We're, if if there's nothing specific that anyone's doing, if nobody's breaking the the quarantine, no. the kids are going to become stir crazy by the, the early evening because there really isn't anything to do, and the mother refuses to allow them to go upstairs. So everyone's stuck downstairs. Other than finishing the burn, finishing the the playing and stuff, are you guys doing anything else I'll to keep, the house? Uh, not to the house. Oh. I'll keep the kids busy though. Okay. I will help clean. Uh, All using right. Ray, so you'll go up. You'll go up and clean. If if Aiden's keeping the kids busy, uh, Mrs. Zywan's going to go up and clean periodically. She's going to stop. Uh, she'll give you a squeeze on the shoulder. There is there is only genuine friendship and 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 respect for for you as she goes by. You don't you don't pick up anything yeah, else. No. And she periodically, Doctor Wolf will come down and, and check on her father. He comes around and then kind of goes out. Uh, when he does come around, she'll speak with him. Uh, she'll make sure that he has something to drink. At some point, maybe around 7 or 8 in the evening, which, by the way, you guys, you and Billings and uh, Mei Ling will be back just before the sun starts to go down. She will make soup that she'll then offer to everyone. Some of the people will get bowls, but the majority of you are going to be handed mugs. Okay. And it, which is pretty evident that you guys I don't have I make sure it. that when she starts making the soup, she uses the water that Maroon gave us. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay, very good. You guys, before going to, I'm going to call it bed for lack of anything else, before you guys go to bed, she is going to have finished cleaning as best she could. 
the room still has discolored the walls that you literally could not scrub off, but the, the, the room is clean. She will finish cleaning dishes. She will check with everyone a second time. It's very obvious that she's offering you more soup. She will go up and she will grab some of the blankets and bring them down for everyone. She will talk to the kids finally in the late evening and walk them upstairs. You don't hear anything weird from them. Door shut. She comes back down. She says to you, to you, Aiden, and to you, Ray, she says, um, thank you very much. And thank your friends for, for all the help. She says, would the doctor like me to stay down here with my father? Doctor, <laughs> would you like to stay down here with her father? Well, uh, well would I like to stay out here? Well, well yes. Or, yeah. Yeah, well, well, she would. And she's looking at you. Oh, well, I would probably prefer to stay down here with her father because that's what you said to me. <laughs> but I'm uh, just like, if you clarify, oh. If she wishes to stay with down here with her father, she may. You may. Oh, so she, she nods and she sits down. The evening goes. If you guys do any if you guys want to do anything, otherwise it's the next morning. Yeah. For 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 Billings, Mei Ling, Dr. Wright, you guys have the food that was brought. You guys can break out, eat yeah. next morning. Frankie, congratulations. Your serious wound is downgraded. <laughs> There you go. And, and actually, that's that's a good question. Does anyone else have wounds? I'm No. I'm, I'm hanging up a serious wound. All right. Serious will not go down in a day. Okay. Unless you're special. Well, there is, there is that. Do you want uh, a little bitey bite? <laughs> <laughs> so now, the expectation from a little, Wolf and a little from nibble. Aiden, for different reasons, but the expectation from Wolf and Aiden is to quarantine for 24 hours. Right. 24 hours would mean somewhere around 4 in the afternoon by your best estimate. Are you guys going to maintain it that long? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So somewhere around noon, uh, for you guys, I'm assuming you're going to stay in the home, right? I mean, I'll check and see if Cal needs anything. That's about it. I mean... Okay. I'm pretty much waiting for the yeah, game. Yeah, checking, the cleaning, all that. Cal seems to be a little got bit another, better. I've got another day before I can go to that museum. Right. At the Iwan's home, there will be a knock at the door. Mm-hmm. Mrs. Iwan will go to the front window, will pull it aside, and she says to you, she says, it's the EMP. Should we open the door? No. We shouldn't open the door. <laughs> I'm going to go open the door. All right. Oh, God. So you open the <laughs> door. i open other people's doors. So as you open the door, the EMP are completely down at the bottom of the stairs. Yep. There's two of them. <laughs> there is another person in the vehicle. All right. I'm going to explain to them. Well, so if you, you open the door, what do you do? Do you just stay open the door where, and stand there? Yeah, I stay there. So one of the two will ask you, so I see somebody has painted the home. What's going on inside? Uh, I will explain that someone... Doctor, do you want to give me like a good, safe sounding, less like? <laughs> uh, someone passed away here from a, a serious from a serious sickness. sickness, and we are maintaining quarantine to make sure it's not. Well, we're maintaining. We're we're making sure no one else is afflicted by it. What do you tell? So I said, uh, somebody died here of a very extreme disease. We're making sure that nobody else is infected. Will you need a coroner? No. <laughs> no, we will not. The uh, body has been properly disposed of. He looks at you kind of quizzically and he says, Do you live here? No, I unfortunately <laughs> came over here to find out what was happening. Uh, very, very good. All right. Please stay in the home till when? We're planning like around four, maybe a little longer. You're planning, meaning you have no... No, I mean, that we're guessing that's about 24 hours, but we might stay a little bit longer, depending. He says, guessing. I would like to ask you to be certain. Maybe you should stay longer. Okay, we'll stay longer. Very good. He says, I, I will leave I will leave someone with you, just in case there you have a need. And he turns to the, the other soldier and he says, you will be here till Sunday. And he you know, gives him the hand to the head, and he looks up at you, doesn't really give you a real good look. And sits on the stoop. Yeah. And he the... says good day and gets into the vehicle. I'll close the door. All right. So we run up to 4 o'clock. Then we run up to 5, 6, 7 is sundown. And the guy, if you look outside, he's gone. Okay. What do you guys do? Nobody got anything weird bumps or anything? No. Taking a quick yeah. run through. I Nobody has anything yeah. going on. 
do uh, the kids now know better lock picking skills? Because <laughs> <laughs> I've been, you know, showing That's them. what you're teaching them? Yeah. Re- real life skills? Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Well, so if Mrs. Iwan catches any hint of that, they're, they're done. And okay. she'll tell you, please don't. Okay. I want my children to have their hands at the time that they're adults. <laughs> Well, that's the first rule is don't pick something. Don't, you know, you can get it open. So the father, Grandfather Iwan, which actually probably would have another name because it wouldn't be the Iwan name, but the grandfather is starting to come around, seems to be in better shape, can't communicate with Wolf, but will communicate with her and you and Ray. You're going to hear him. He talks about being somewhere else. He doesn't know where. He feels like he was walking through black gauze, and as time went on, the the gauze turned to simply black strings or strands, and then it was nothing. At the point when it was nothing, then he was was awake. It was a a very strange dream and nothing that he's ever seen or heard before. But he comes out of it and checking over him, he's elderly. Mm -hmm. He definitely has some problems from pains from the muscles, from being dropped, from the shoulder, all of that, but... He doesn't have anything that looks beyond just a simple bruise or contusion. Seems to be able to move everything correctly. You're you're not worried that you're going to leave him in some dangerous spot. Everybody else in the house checks out. Yep. I basically say, unless something something I've missed is is about, everyone here is clean. And so she will turn to you and say, so... It, are we good? Yes. What does the doctor say? She's looking right at you. We're him. good. We're, we're going to leave now. She says, very good. She she walks into the Get kitchen, the and as you guys are getting your stuff together, getting ready to leave, she grabs a, a wet rag and, and starts taking down the, the blood, scrubbing the blood off the front door. Does anyone do anything before leaving? No. no. Well, the okay. only thing I'm, I'm going to do is, like, instruct, because, of course, his bruises and stuff, I'm going to give... Like, you know, her has some instructions on what to do to maintain Very good. some of the bruises and stuff like or like the injuries he suffered. If there's any complications, I'm right next door for the time being, maybe the next day or two. Who's gonna translate? Aiden? Ray. Uh Aiden, you better take this. I don't know. Aiden, I'll give me which role. I also want to make a mythology roll about what that guy was seeing before. So nine nine, eighteen. In 18, so with an 18, no problem. She understands. So at this point, the mythology role, you wanted to know what? If the the guy's dream sounded like anything or... Ah, go ahead and give me a roll. I recognize anything. Yeah, that was a real good roll, Matt. Uh, or you can do your personal roll. Yeah, I'll do, too. I'll do a personal roll. I got a bunch of oh, those. we have a lot of chips. Hey, that's a lot. Well, that's better than what it was. No, it's not. That's a one. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, here, I'll use another one. Yeah, we need chitlins right there for us. Yeah, it's just not happening. Uh, so, that's going to be like, I think of the highest was nine. So, with a nine, it sounds like a, a classic Greek, you know, Roman as well mythology maybe an orpheus story but i mean it doesn't really i mean you're not like oh my god this is blank you know just kind of yeah it has the kind of the shades of him going into hell but not you know not so tight that you're like wow so anything else anyone's gonna do we're now back one house well Mm -hmm. um ray has to run back to his flat because right now he doesn't have any clothes okay so So. (laughs) ray does ray go and get the car and drive or does ray run go in frate (laughs) <laughs> it's not that far away, but if you remember, you have a, you have a flat in the tenements. Yeah, so I'll just walk. All right, very the, good. I don't need the car. And then when you're done, come back to the second house. Yes, Okay. wherever everyone else is. Everyone else is there. Aiden, are you going to stay the, the evening Wait. there? Hold uh, up. Yeah. Yes. So they come back to the house where I'm at. Yes. Before any of them step in the house. <laughs> Uh, if I, because I, at this point I'm waiting for them to come over, mm-hmm. I know about when. Are you just sitting at the, at the front yeah, window? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll say. Oh, they're there. <laughs> all right, all right, before anybody comes in, I'm sure Dr. Wolf checked you all over, but let me do a quick examination, make sure there's no telltale signs of plague. So, other than checking the lymph nodes, checking it's, the neck, checking the eyes, checking the tongue, are you doing anything, any other bodily check? I'm injecting trackers into all of them. No. <laughs> Sweet. No, I'm just checking. Right. I actually, 
I will feign checking these two. Okay. I'm gonna wave you through. Yeah. I mean, so I, yeah. so Wolf and Frankie are gonna are gonna be light check over everyone else. Yeah. Slightly more. No, you're not worried about anyone at this point. Uh, yeah, and I'll ask, you know, where's Ray? And then when he gets here, I You'll will check, check him. him. I so, make sure to slap your hand at least once. <laughs> that's, that's acceptable. I would expect no So then, Aiden, what are you doing as far as the evening goes? Are you going to even wait for Ray to show up? Uh, well, you know, my whole plan timetable has been thoroughly screwed up at this <laughs> point. So I am going to probably just say screw it and go sleep in a real bed and then hopefully okay. we I'm gonna say we should meet tomorrow in the morning to discuss plans. Yes, and before you all go, um the Natural History Museum, I, I found out that there some some kerfuffle going on there. They're moving a statue or something, changing statues around. Uh, but they'll be reopened tomorrow. Of course at the table all all heads are turning back and forth, <laughs> realizing yeah. that he was not here. Well, I'm more thinking about statues. the statues. Yep. Okay. So I'm just gonna bring they, it up. They should still. They'll still be there now. Apparently, there is gonna take them two days. Uh, and we found out yesterday. What do you guys want to bet? The statues are the same ones that zapped all of Ray's cronies. I don't want to bet because that's probably what that is. <laughs> well, there was quite a number of EMP there as well. We Frankie, do you want to go check it out? Want is a strong word. Frankie, you want to go check it out? <laughs> <laughs> Not you. Oh, come on! I've you, already been out once! By the way... The, you've done quite enough did already. Did Dr. Wright change back? Yeah. Well, okay. I will have put on my eye patch, but yep. I'm still in the clothing. I mean... What about the cane? Because Billings and Mei Ling walked with you... Oh, see, I was going to ask if they mentioned anything. Because no I had something They did not it. mention anything. No, now I have the cane back. Right. And I have something in my mind if they do ask. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Eight does or does not wait for Ray. No, I'll, I'll wait for Ray. All right. Back. So in waiting for Ray, Billings will come down and he'll come. Ah, oh, Aiden, you're back. So when tomorrow are we going to the temples? Look toward Frankie. Frankie? Oddly, Billings kind of looks to Frankie <laughs> bewildered and then looking at Frankie the same as, as you are. No temples. You're not going anywhere. I don't understand. We were promised by Aiden to see the temples. We would uh, we also be able to... That for you, Miss Raya, it would be a chance to see the whalers. Um, hopefully not in action, but... All right. We do um, need to see the temples. Uh, that's what we're here for. Here's what Frankie's shutting it down. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Billings, we have had an incredibly fraught 24 hours. I scooped a man off of a bed and chased his skeleton through the streets. Can we put the temples on a later docket? I, I I guess I guess that that, that would be fine <laughs> just so long as it's not for <laughs> He's very he just takes it. it. <laughs> he just is like, oh yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> well, did you see Frankie's picture? That's right. yeah. Yeah. I know what Frankie looks that's like. Fair, yeah. <laughs> and Frankie said at a later docket. How about now? How about now? How about now? So there's there's plenty of ways Billings can get around this, but yes, he he he, he backs off. Once he goes back upstairs, then we can plan our heist. We should probably go to the thing tomorrow because we need to see these statues. And he has not he has not gone upstairs. He's, he's well, uh, there with I would else. I thought he was. I you're would. gonna you're gonna not talk until he leaves? Yeah. But, okay, so if everyone starts to get quieter and quieter Well Wolf right why Wolf will ask at least one point of the conversation. Did you manage to finish the uh the stitch, Doctor Wright? Oh yes, the stitch, my boy. It came out perfect. Uh, you already used some on Cal. It seemed no ill effects, so your formula worked uh, worked well. I'm not going to mention I changed it. No, <laughs> no, and I was expecting you to say it worked adequately. Yes. Yeah. Uh, worked. Remember, I'm chipper. <laughs> um, yes. I'm the new chipper happy me. <laughs> yes, you very are. Very good, very good. Has, has he received a second dose today? Oh, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> no, I think I would have given him one. I mean, I'm a doctor. Uh, I think you would yeah. have given me an intelligence roll. Because more than anything else, it's, it was you up to... Yeah. I mean, I'm the one taking over his care. I already said yeah. Oh, I was hoping that was an eight. Uh, intelligent, uh, that's a uh, 16. Absolutely. So mark yeah. off the second stitch. You'll, you'll, you'll give you, him... I think you were... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, uh, I'm so mark it off. So yeah. you'll give him a second dose. Mm. So you are still using the cane. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. If Billings lingers, I'm just going to pull Raya aside to talk to her. Billings, if that starts, Billings will get eventually bored and, and head back upstairs. 
I mean, All right, now that he's upstairs. Now that he's gone, we should probably go to the museum. Probably. Uh, or, we it was sh- armed? We should go tonight, yes. They'll be less, uh, less maybe concerned about we it tonight. We should go tonight. You should stay here. Actually, we should go tonight, because if anyone's going to get into the museum, it's going to be me. Yes, and truly, I, I think we should go tonight, <laughs> because one, I've already been out there, and two, why, why not? I mean, what, I want to have some fun in Cairo, too. If you go with us, we shall surely be caught. That is not true. Name one time we were caught when I went with you. Uh, um, the, um, what was it called? The place that we're not supposed to speak about, right? Cambridge? We were not caught. <laughs> Technically. What? Okay, I have to know. We have never what? been caught. Okay, I have to know. What is this about Cambridge you keep talking about? You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Well, no. He wouldn't <laughs> ask if he didn't want to know. <laughs> Well, Dr. Wolf has been traveling with us for some time. Perhaps it might be time for him to know. No one needs to know. No one needs to know. Raya and Aiden and I will go to the museum tonight. We'll collect Raya. Ray, Ray comes back at this point, not knowing that you guys are talking. He just walks in. All right, when are we getting that? Don't you here. move! <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go over and I'll check him out. All right. I swear I'm not possessed! <laughs> no, no, this is to make sure you don't have plagues. Oh, yeah, so, right. So, is anybody watching right work on Ray? Uh, no. Wolf no. might. Wolf will. Wolf might. Wolf, go ahead and give me an intelligence roll. Ooh. Ray, I'm assuming you, you have brought a couple of things of clothing, or did you just change while you were home? I put on my new a new pair of genie pants and my another vest. So, you just <laughs> changed. <laughs> genie pants. Genie pants. You have so, you just changed. Shoes. Do you... Do you What's the dance, the hammer dance all the way back? Yeah, the hammer dance. <laughs> yeah. And I got a couple more vests, but that's about it. All right, so you, but, so you, you brought clothes. Yeah. All right, can't touch this, and we're moving on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we so, got it all out, yes. <laughs> so, Wolf the number? 14. Very good. So, for Dr. Wright, you are checking Ray over. I need you to give me a willpower roll. Oh, I'm gonna Ray, choke I need you. you to give me a willpower roll at minus two. Uh oh. No, choking. The transfer. <laughs> the perfect. You were the perfect vessel. <laughs> oh. That's that's really. I hope it's not opposed because if so, you're screwed. <laughs> and concentration is for will, correct? Yeah. Correct. Okay, so that is going to be a whopping like 23. A so a 23. Ugh. Well, at that, um, you shouldn't have said anything, because now I don't even want to spend the re-roll, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Okay. That is technically a better roll, but... So that puts me at 20. All right. So, Dr. Wolf, nothing you see goes on. Hmm. All right? For Dr. Wright, you check him over. He seems to be absolutely fine. When you finish checking him over, what do you do? What do you tell him? I'll look and I'll say, well, Ray, as far as I can tell, it doesn't look like you have the plague, which is good. So we have to quarantine you, and, and then, then you kind of chew him in. Uh, yeah, and then I'll uh, I'll, do, I'll say, oh, let me. How's how's this? And I'll point to his chest. Oh, that that's fine. I can barely feel it anymore. Okay. Um, I would ask, can I see it? I want to make sure there's no infection. All right, fine. I'll I'll open up my, the vest. And... <laughs> no, it, it it looks it looks oh, very good. Golly, yeah. Possibly, possibly even a day ahead. Of normal healing time. That's how good I am. Uh, That's exactly what you're saying. So as Ray redresses and you head back to the conversation that you want to try and get into, you you feel (laughs) a little less perky. Maybe what you took yesterday kind of lingered and it's now now stepping off. Maybe maybe you might go upstairs and add again to the, the feel. But the group is still talking. And Ray, when you come in... Where do you go? You have a sleeping section down here. I'm just going to film it and say, Oh, Ray, excellent timing as well. We're talking about going and breaking into the museum, the history museum. Okay, and who thought that was a good idea? And why are we breaking into the mu- museum? Uh, well, yesterday, uh, see, I went to the museum, uh, and there's all this EMP there, and I couldn't go inside. I was going to do I'm going to cut them off. <laughs> no, they're moving some statues in the Natural History Museum. Statues. What do you want to bet? It's yours. I don't want to do any sort of losing bet, thank you very much. I think they're moving the s- him out of the museum. Well, they're not in the museum as far as I they're know. Not. They should still be in the Maybe hangar. they're moving other ones. I don't really know. <laughs> in conclusion, we're going to go make sure 
I don't know what we're going to do if they are there, but we're going to make sure that whether or not they are. All yes. right. Who's all going? I am. Three of us. You are not going. <laughs> oh, but Raya, I believe I am. Lest I tell... Do you really want me here by myself with Wright, filling him in on all of our little deeds in Cambridge? That would be Wolf. Yeah. Wolf, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Dr. Wolf can keep an eye on you. Yes, as he can come with us. I have a patient upstairs. Oh, yeah. We have a patient upstairs, and um, Cal is not going anywhere and is highly protected by Marood. I don't think anything will come harm to Cal. It's dark right now. Yeah, it is It is not pitch black, like, but like the sun has gone eight. down. It, you are just have that bare twilight left, maybe maybe just the, the slightest orange in the west. We uh, need to get moving. Yes, we do. Ray, are you going to go? Here. I'm not really sure this is exactly my area of expertise. Um, this is more Aiden than, well, you two have dealt with this supernatural bowl and with past. I think I'm best just here for now. It's so, up to you, Ray. You're welcome so to come if you Frankie, want. Frankie, he did deal with this before, and he has successfully come through it in every way. He might be, I mean, you just kind of get in your head, he might be an addition. Plus, he's another set of bulky hands. I have an inclination that this won't go smoothly, and you would be good to have it our back. And further, what happens if... <laughs> <laughs> just pushes him away. <laughs> what happens, Frankie, my boy, if his injury comes undone? Won't you need a doctor there to help patch him up nice and quick? No. There's no quicker patch-upper <laughs> than I. Absolutely not. What's the plan for tomorrow? That uh, is... Our plans have just gone at this point, so we're going um, to need to... What about your camo guy? Are we... Is well, he rounded up everything he needs? I'm going to have to go talk to him and see where that's at. Because I was kind of, you know, indisposed for oh, a day. Well, I love, well, I love the conversations coming. So, all right. Sorry we're a day late. I was in a plague house, but we're ready to go now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, we need to get out of this town sooner rather than later. Oh, oh I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. I think the best thing to do is that we all use our individual abilities, get this heist done no. as heist. quickly as possible. I don't know. I heard somebody say heist. I'm just following <laughs> what they said. The point is, <laughs> let's break into the museum. Very, I'm going to make some tea. See. Okay. Very good. We are rubbing bourbon on the gums. <laughs> there we go. All right. all right. Have some tea. Oh, that sounds suspicious. Tea. I mean, <laughs> have this tea. And by the way, does this cloth smell like yeah. chloroform? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, chloroform, so I took a little So do do you doctor up the tea? No, for I'm him not gonna. Anyone? Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so my last, well, my last. I effort. guess this wouldn't be the first time we broke into the museum. And in all fairness, um, Aiden, do you have medicine? Uh, I have alchemy. Give me an alchemy roll, because I know it's some. You, there's a piece of you that would have thought maybe, maybe we should. You know, drug him to keep him quiet. Not in an evil way, but just, you know, something like to... Do you have any idea? Oh, yeah, like a you think I can't drug myself? <laughs> <laughs> Inject myself. So that's a 13. I don't even know so what that So with a 13 was. and your alchemical, uh, alchemical background, you think in these terms, with right, with the jokes that they've made, and there's generally a kernel of truth in most jokes that people make, yeah. you might be a little worried about drugging Dr. Wright. You know that when you told him to have a shaving off the knuckle, he shaved the knuckle and smoked it. <laughs> um, yeah, he dude. drank very well. He has so far been successful in the drugs that he's taken in front of you to carry through them. Honestly, at this point, I'm surprised he's even living. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spry as hell. <laughs> so, my, my last... Bit, uh, so tea for everyone, but yeah. nobody passes out from it. The last bit that I'm going to say is, well, I can I get the sense you don't want me to go, uh, but wouldn't it be better if I went with you as a group rather than just following behind you when you left? Oh, well, that's got to be the fairest point he's made all night. We that always, is. We thank always you, get right? someone who runs slower than the rest of us if they have to run away. <laughs> So that's an interesting comment. I like that. Yeah, that's a very good <laughs> put comment. A, put a yeah. character point I'm in there. I'm just saying. <laughs> was that for me? Wait, wait, wait. That's because of what you said. Oh. Yes. oh. <laughs> I thought I was interesting. <laughs> well, and so honestly,
honestly, at this point, Frankie's uncomfortable going against Greg because he does consider him a superior. Yep. And he's going to back off. Okay. So the five of you are going to go. So to make sure I got it, it's Raya. Everyone but Aiden, Michael. Everyone, want, everyone but me. Yeah, do you want to come, Dr. Wolf? And, and my, I mean, question, my question will be, are we choosing to take the vehicle? No. 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 Okay. no. So we're going to walk. Well, excellent. Wolf, I mean, might as well come, too, if everyone's coming. I'd much rather, in case something does go wrong, Cal at least has a doctor. Right? Give Laroon a few stitches and we'll, we'll be fine. Alright, so I'm going to go put on my darker clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Your skullduggery my uh, collection? My darker gray suit. Alright, very I good. I am also Wait, not hasn't, th- hasn't Cal had already had two shots of stitch? Yes. And if anything... And he's st- he still needs a doctor? That was a really silent response. Yeah. <laughs> just, Damn. I'm just like, no, I'm, I'm kind of like, he said, and he still needs a doctor, and it's like, yes. <laughs> so he has not been cleared by a doctor Slightly yet. darker clothes, but mm. not street clothes. Cow's a wuss. Uh, yeah, just the thing so I can blend into gotcha. shadows better. Dr. Wright is currently in the traveling clothes that are lighter in color clothing. But similar to what many people on the streets were wearing. I would probably have said when I went up, like, if you have darker clothes, I recommend you put them on. Mm. And then what kind of moon is it tonight? Oh. We are, if I remember correctly, we are three days past the new moon. Okay, so... So it's pretty dark. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're just yeah. maybe getting a sliver of... Uh... I don't have darker clothes unless you want me to wear my London garb, which might make me stick out a little more. And I will throw this out for you. You don't know how warm that clothing is, but when they landed, they were all sweltering. You right. could see it without asking. Is it colder here at nighttime? Isn't it yes. super cold? So it super Ray cold. can tell you when he's been out that it drops precipitously as you get into the past midnight-ish hours. So it would be appropriate to wear warmer clothing? Yeah, it's not Could be. it's not as bad in the city, but especially if you're just out on the desert, it drops. Without a doubt. Frankie bought two pairs of clothing and he just burned one. So <laughs> he just got kind of his B outfit. It's okay. It's just gray. I don't think it's anything special. Okay. A couple more patches and the But other it's one. the it's the Egyptian clothing. No. It is standard clothing. The only Egyptian garb I've purchased is the armor that I haven't picked up yet. Gotcha. Okay. So it is standard uh, English, London yeah. clothing. Yeah, that's the list of chores we need to do. <laughs> and um, Ray, Ray has standard clothing, which I'm guessing tends towards darker. That would make sense to me. It's dark. Wolf is going to be wearing. Wolf is staying home. Wolf is still staying home. He's wearing Maya has two different that. things. Yeah. Smoking jacket. The, the darker clothing that she got that was not specifically the whalers, but was in that general. Yep, color. and that's okay. what I'm wearing. Egyptian style, uh, right? Are you staying in the lighter colored Egyptian style? Unless, um, how, Eden, how, how tall are you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he invite himself into your wardrobe. I'm about, uh, I have him about, probably about five foot five around there. Okay, no, I'm six foot. Short king. <laughs> okay, so then I'll say, well, that's all that I have. Uh, okay. And um, I'm also going to tell everybody very clearly that, oh, before we leave, I'm going to go work on my knee real quick. Uh, get it ready for the uh, jaunt. Okay, so. you all hear that. Yeah, that's a little, what, I would say that's the first time anyone's heard him say, I'll work on my knee, but he heads, he heads upstairs. Wolf? Is that code for something? And I'm just going to kind of raise an eyebrow at you. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, hmm. Uh, but then again, I think about the fact I've seen him like jump back, and he seems to be very steady on his, on his feet before using the cane. It's like, maybe the cane is just for support. As far as I can think of, it's like, hmm. Yes, good doubt. Yeah. Doubt. <laughs> so? Mm-hmm. so? Like, almost as soon as Frankie kind of clocks that it's weird and looks at Wolf, mm-hmm. he just kind of moves forward and mm-hmm. he stops thinking about it. Okay. So, Wright will do whatever it is Wright does in his room and what changes when you come down, if anything. I just leave the cane. I come down with my leg. And as I get to the ba- base of the stairs, I'm like, I- I'll go down the stairs. I'll make a show of it. I'll kind of, you know... Like, kind of stretch it out as I'm going down, uh, and then kind of get to this step, you know, straighten out, and be like, ah, oh, that hit the spot. One more thing. Yes. Did you change the gauze back to your eye patch, or are you still wearing the gauze? Oh, I changed back to the gauze. I When I came back, back here... the eye patch or the gauze? I'm using the gauze right now. You're using the gauze. Yeah. So, you guys, when you came back, probably didn't really think about it until now, as he's come down and he's 
no longer using the cane and saying, ah, oh, good, and moving his leg, you'll also realize he's not wearing his normal eye patch. He has the gauze wrapped around his head. I'm sure he used some kind of drug to uh, no, you do know. That, to make <laughs> his leg better. I envision you doing the kind of calisthenics, you know, a little bit of low stretching, a little squat two or three times. and <laughs> Yeah. All right. Just yeah. I'm going to double check my alchemy lab after he leaves just to make sure he hasn't been cooking anything else. In it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lick the beakers. And... <laughs> What's all this well, first of all, he better have been cleaning it. <laughs> so... Do we leave? I can't. Yep. I did. I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, 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 I did. I did. I did. I did. Good, on, good on me. And, and Wolf, that's that's what you find. Yeah. Um, I also seems... find four stitch, which I find very confusing. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and, but I'll wait till. Yeah. Well, and he already said that he had given it to Cal, and Cal mm. seemed to be fine. Mm. Now, do you still have four stitch? Well, there were six made. There yeah, were six made. Right. Okay. And, so yeah. you have four left, and you're realizing that's not what you were supposed to have. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so the five of you leave. We're, we're on foot. We've decided. Hold on. We're not. Leaving no, we're not yet. leaving yet. Okay. We have to actually make a plan for the first time. What? I know. I know. Brace yourself. <laughs> I will let them. I will let them. Wait. I would. I would, it would be. That would almost be the time to say I'm going to end the episode here. But <laughs> please go on. So okay, uh, we're not doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have a question: Is are there any buildings near? Is like the museum isolated, or is there the museum stuff is fairly isolated because okay. it is up from the street level? So as you come around towards where the museum is at. You are coming out of the tenements. You are into residential and commercial, but it's very limited commercial in this area. Okay. It tends to be clothing type shops and the like, and it's mostly stuff that is uh, loom as opposed to hand stitch. Okay. Is the, I, I don't are know the how tenements I want to say the lower income? Yes, yes. Okay, industrials excellent. type. Okay, but it sits up like sweatshops. Yeah, yes, yeah, the sweat, that's where they feed from. There are four sets of steps up to the National History Museum. That's the height, and it's a good good set of steps. It's maybe... You mean like four levels or four steps? Four sets of steps, so okay. four levels. Four, gotcha. four, four flights. Uh, yeah, four flights is a great one. You're yeah, going boy. to have... So four steps, like... No, it's four steps, flights. steps, platform, steps, okay. and another platform, and then we do this two more times. Okay. Roughly from where you're at, 160 feet up, there's also a effectively driveway or road that goes up to it as well. You know that at the level of the Natural History Museum, you can see almost the entire town. Yeah, there's a few buildings that will block sight of others, but Is in it, general from uh, there. Any of those buildings near to the Natural History Museum? No, no, so, so again, your tenements will stop. You're in the district. Let's call it Clothier District to make it easy. Right. But you're in the in the shops in that area. They are across the street and 160 feet down okay, cool. from where the National History Museum is. All right. Now, backside, the museum good. itself is on a, a large flat area, large flat hill or right. mesa. It doesn't stick up with edges. It rolls down the back. But on the back side... There's very little. There is a single road, and this you know because you've been there. Right. There is a single road, we would call it a service road. Really, it's a camel road. This is not where you would normally see somebody drive, and there's no vehicle back there. There's no parking back there. Okay. But that goes down at the bottom of that. There are a couple connections to the reservoir, and that is where one of the two Tesla towers in Cairo, you know, is down in that area. Cool. That answers that question. Okay. All right. The other um, one is closer to the city. Would there be anywhere where I could observe, where we could observe the building for a little bit before we made our approach? No, not to where you could actually see. Part of the problem is it's up so high. The idea is just I want to see if we can follow guard rotations. Gotcha. Like okay. They're gone by. You would. And you I do would, have binoculars. Okay. So you could, from a much longer distance, be able to use binoculars and see. Go ahead. We'll go back to discussion so, of the. My thinking, or plan, I'll just propose that, is uh, we should probably stick to the, the tenements below, because usually people don't look or remember things down there. Go there and then make our way to, to behind the Natural History Museum. There's a small camel path up. Cars don't use anything like that. It'll be easy to sneak up it without being 
Does it detect lead, it. Does it lead to the store, like the loading bays, or where does this camera lead to? Uh, it leads to the back of the museum, and from there we can decide how to proceed in. Now I have a question, does the museum have like windows up above or is it like solid building? So it is basically a solid building. The front is a big wide semicircle and it goes also up. So at the top of it, it's maybe two and a half stories high. Most of that is glass. At the edges, it's maybe story and a half in height and it goes around to the edge. The museum then goes back pretty much as a solid building with rooms. At the back end, there's, there is not glass back there. They've left all the walls solid. There is a light stucco back there, and you are fairly certain the stucco is over their version of brick. Okay. So you know, you know that there are at least two doors back there. Sometimes when you come up here to do work, or at least look into something, do an appraisal, or do, do you know, is this real, that type of thing. You come in through one of the two doors. There might be a third door, you think. Okay, so we can... It's a large building. From the back, we can go in through one of the back doors. What I'm kind of throwing around is getting Raya to let us in from the inside. She's pretty good at climbing up stuff. Okay. If I can get up to the roof... There's and there's no access way. up there. There's none that I know of. Even a window that she could crawl in. I don't think there is one up there. Oh, there's windows in the front. There are windows in the front. Think in terms of an overhang. So the semicircle goes up to a peak, but that overhangs. The windows are farther back and front. It's just an overhang. It, uh, if it helps, I do still have some of that tranquilizer we used uh, some time back. So the windows probably don't open. Oh, no. No, these are plate okay. windows. Okay. Okay, Leaving sounds... people tranquilized is not a great thing because other people find them in that alarms or something. Just better to avoid. <laughs> Maybe more of a just in case. Okay. If you want to. But... Alright, I vote with then Raya in first to make sure there's not immediate issues. And then she'll give us the all clear and we can join her. Capital Okay. So I think that's a you've been you've been able idea. to look through the binoculars. I'm guessing since you can take a, an idea from there. You don't have to do this on the walk. You don't have to right. stop a second time. From there, as you're watching, you will see that from this distance, you can see three trucks. You can see way more than 10 people moving around there. But there are at least six ENP with guns, not swords, that are standing there. There are lights on, on the outside of the building, shining outwards. You don't really get a good shot of, you know, the, you can see the glass, but nothing else. Two of the trucks pull away as you guys are talking and waiting. The, the last truck you see loads up and everyone is off there before you guys start heading. Meaning okay. there's no one out front and then doosh, the lights go down and it is dark. Ray, <laughs> do you have anything that we're not thinking of? I think our biggest problem is going to be if that EMP sticks around. Honestly, the, gu the guards of a natural history museum, the normal guys, they're pretty easy to buy off. Ray Aiden and I have found that out. But the ENP is our biggest problem. Could we maybe pay some of the local kids here to start a, dis a distraction? I don't want to bring kids. It is it. late. You yeah. saw what you happened to the last to kid. That you have to talk to their All we would really need is someone on a close street yelling the word Shadem, and you probably pulled them off pretty quick, to be honest. That is an epic idea. We huh? don't really even need, you know, them to put themselves in danger. Just walk away for a second. Yeah. I'm not sure if they would leave though with that. They might radio something in. Give me Which a would bring more Aiden. FNP. Okay. Since you're the only one. Does anything like uh No, just you. Okay. I'm like, no. No. I'll spend one of those. Okay. Twelve. So it clicks to you that what Ray is talking about doesn't matter. Everyone drove off. Right. So there should be... The no lights out. went out. There's no one up there. Okay, so... At least that you can see. There could be, you know, the ninja squad, but there's right. no one out there with lights on or anything like that. All right. So, yeah, I'll say that. Uh, okay. Well, then we have a backup, too. We'll send right out yelling about Shadim's. Yes, uh, Shadim. I Whatever the word is. So, as you guys approach, there are very few lights in the street, as you well know. They're spaced at least 100 feet apart, 
and they're not particularly bright. They are enough that if somebody were to move under them, they would stand out. How are you going up? Where are you going so up? I'm going to take them around to the back. And when you say the back, you mean literally around the base. Like where the right? reservoir is. Yeah. So it is power. another 35 mm. minutes of that's walking fine. as you come yeah. around that. Yeah, that's but fine. you can go up the camel trail right. very easily. Uh-huh. And you guys are going up. You guys are going to be uncomfortable with the crunching stones that you're stepping on. But there's nothing around. I am quiet. I'm not crunching stones. You're probably not. <laughs> um, in addition to that, the characters, you guys are going to be fairly comfortable with looking around. Your eyes are starting to get accustomed to the not absolute pitch black darkness, but the dark that's here. For the Londoners, you do start to feel the, the slight beginning of cold. And the way it's different is you're used to cold being wet. It kind of chills the bone. This cold is cold, but it's it kind of just sits on your skin. I don't want to use the word invigorating, but it has that kind of prick up, like your, your little hairs will stand up, but you're not just freezing. At this point, it could, you feel like it could get colder, you would probably be okay. So as you come up, you start to approach the back side of the building. Right. You know where the doors are at this distance. You can't see them, but as you get closer, you know where to go. Are you walking up to one of the doors? Yes. All right. Walk up. The and one I'm that you and Ray normally the... would go to or one well, of think... the other? I thought we were going to send Raya first. Well, we're already all up there. Well, you don't have to be. Hmm. Uh, you'll see me. I'll start heading towards the door if you want to send Raya up there. That's why. I think I'll just call it a wash. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See what happens when we plan. So we get to the door. I'm going to pull out my lock picking, and I'm going to take my little torch that I have. And when you say torch, we're talking about a London torch, so like flashlight. Like a flashlight thing. Very right? good. Can you roll? So 13? So with a 13, you are able to get the lock undone. All right. You're fairly certain you can turn the handle and open it. All right. So first thing I'm going to do, though, is could I use safe crappy? Safe, well, I don't know if we'd have safe crappy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you safe do. cracking <laughs> or uh, I essentially want to make sure there's no lines like you know like alarms or anything oh trap sets mm. yeah give me go ahead and give me a safe cracking roll please okay I also have escapology I don't know either. yeah no it's it's gonna be more that it's still not that's still not the right skill but yep throw it like shadow like what no 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 no, no. it's it, it's <coughs> this is not what his character does and knowing knowing this information is a little bit different on a building than a safe, but that's the closest thing we have. So we get a uh, eighteen. You are not aware of alarms on the back, only because you know that there is a near catacomb of hallways you would have to walk down to get out. Okay. You have a reasonable idea that you can figure them out in the light, pitch black. You don't think you can make your way through it. You think there may be alarms, possibly. On the actual exhibits, I mean, you've seen that before. But one of the things that's going on here is you don't have the Tesla towers going all the time. Right. And depending on when they run, it may or may not have had a reason to have them on in here. It's your choice, but you you feel fairly confident there's not an alarm on the back. Um, there's not a lot that you can do with stealing from the museum other than specific antiquities statuary giant boats giant sarcophagi gonna be very hard to move that in cairo with almost nothing else to do you could put it on to a train bound for alexandria but again same situation you've got to be able to sell it okay so i'm gonna feel around on the ground for like a small rock or pebble or something yep you can get one of those pretty easy and i'm gonna motion for them to go in and then i'm gonna okay. put the pebble there and close the door so right. the door to look so, Pretty much, yeah. Right. All right. So we have one torch for the entire group. All right, one torch for the entire group. (laughs) So go ahead and give me one second, and I'm going to put my torch into my bag, and I will. I'll turn it off. Okay. I'm I'm going to pull out my uh, bullseye lantern. Okay. And I'm going to kind of take. You brought that with you? Yeah. Okay. I I have a whole bag of my like breaking and entering gear. All right. I'm assuming backpack. Yeah. All right. So it's like a canvas backpack. Got it, got it. So no, I'm, uh, I'm going to take the lantern, and I'm going to bullseye, so I should be able to tighten the beat. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, okay, follow me. And you like it. And I'll okay. we'll start going. Okay. 
So go ahead and give me an intelligence roll or a tracking roll. Not take tracking. All right. So give me an Which intelligence. Which is funny. Role. I'm like, I wonder if it's a take tracking. Nah. <laughs> How often do you envision Aiden having come to the museum? Or anything other than work. Pretty frequently. I Still, mean, I imagine okay. like there's there's like social events and things. And you are not the circles. curator. No. Stuff comes in and out of here all the time that you wouldn't see if you didn't come here. <sighs> Can you spend another one? What is it? <laughs> Use different dice. I did. It's easy. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so that's, well, that's two opposite ends uh, of the spectrum. Yeah. So that's eleven <laughs> plus. Uh, you said tracking or. Well, if you don't have track, we're going to do it. Okay, so that'd be 14. All right. So you have a pretty good idea of how to move through the catacombs. Where are you going? You guys are in. The door is shut. It seems quiet. There's no alarms. There's no, I was going to say, there's no silent alarms going on, but you wouldn't know that. There's no alarm or anything like that going on. Is there a place where the statues leave? There are four rooms. There are four rooms that you know there would be. Okay, so I'm going to go to the first room closest. Okay. So we're just going to the first rooms. Are there any, like... Banners that say new exhibit or not in the back catacomb hall. Well, I mean, as we're moving, <laughs> well, that's, but I'll that's keep... what I'm asking. You. Okay, yeah, we're All moving right. towards the first one, right? right. And I'll keep an, we'll keep an eye out for that. So. so, moving through the back here, most of this back area is storage, cleanup area, and then there'll be some stuff that's set for labeling and that type of thing. There is no food in the museum or anything like that so yeah i imagine we're going by desk i'll stop and i'll see like like something next to like an exhibit i'll be like damn it larry and i'll <laughs> grab that it would be going. nice but that's not what you see the <laughs> hallways are actually hallways there's okay. a lot of doors the majority of the doors will have numbers on them there are a few as you get closer to the front that will have specific individuals there and it'll be you know the assistant curator the curator uh, language expert, those type of things. And then a number of labs, and, and lab just means an area where they're storing and cleaning things. When you get to the main front, you guys figure that you guys have moved, again, pretty labyrinthine, but you guys have moved maybe 200 feet from the back door in through these different passageways. And it's not, they're not hidden tubes. These are standard hallways in the building. When you come to that door, you know that you are going to open this onto the Back most of the exhibit rooms. Okay. So I'm going to crouch low. I'm just mm-hmm. going to, does it go in or pull out? It will pull out. Okay. So I'll pull it out and I'll just kind of peek around. Okay. So on this side, you and will there's no not light need, coming. Yep, you will not need. So you pull it open. It's dark. You, know, you don't shine in. You're going to only have the tiniest bit of light coming from the front glass. This room is three rooms removed from the front windows. Okay. I'll take my lantern then. And are the windows straight to the floor or is there like a space or something like that? The front front windows, you you will not be able to, well, you would be able to see them here. But yes, they are straight to the floor, ceiling to floor, but they are not single plates. There are three levels to the plates. Okay. So I'm going to put my lantern and I'll try to turn it in such a way that no light goes out the front, but it'll Very go good. inside. And I'll see what's in here. So, again, you know that this room is going to be sarcophagi. Okay. Uh, and no helpful arrows. No statues, no banners. No you know they're there. not in here. You okay. know where you're going. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. So, I thought we were at that room, no. that first room. No. This, okay. is, this is your way in. So, uh, I'll start making... You know, making your way in. Right. So, you're going to keep the lantern turned away from the front, maybe even turned backwards. But it'll give you enough light between it and the light coming through the... So... I have the ability of Night Fighter, so I figured I probably had, like, not like I could see in the dark, but I figured I had pretty good night vision. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll put the, I'll close the the lantern, I'll keep it going just in case, and I'll say, okay, everyone put a hand on the person in front of your shoulder and just... So you guys are going train-like? Is anyone yeah. breaking that? Unless somebody could see better, good in the dark. I also have Night Fighter. Okay. But are you going to break that chain or are you going to walk with them? No, I'm going to walk okay. with them. Okay. So... At this point, because you're, it's been quiet, you guys have been in your heads, I want both Raya and Frankie to give me an intel... Uh, I'm going to go with Wits Roll. I'm going to say Wits Roll. I know. Uh, 15. 15. 16. Okay, you're both of you, about. as you're making your way through the catacombs, you stop for a few moments while he's messing with the door into the main exhibits. It gives you the chance to start thinking. Both of you realize Wright is walking exceptionally well. 
in his initial steps, you know, you saw him kind of do the limp thing down the stairs. Now you're kind of reviewing it in your head. He was doing the limp thing down the stairs. Then when he got to the bottom of the stairs, he kind of did a little bit of calisthenics. He kept up the limping for a little bit, but since you guys were just walking, you guys are now thinking back. That whole way, you don't remember seeing him limp. So this and, observation, like, ooh, sorry, I'm going to cut you off. Yeah, no, you're good. Uh, it comes in the mind, and then it just slips right back out again. And for you? Okay. For Raya? I figure maybe he's wearing a brace, or he's done some kind of drug that's Drug that will keep him good. I love it. Going. Clearly, All right. Skull Kai's name and put it in his own. Okay. Poor Kai's upstairs, just like a mangled body parts hanging. So, because I like putting a movie picture in my head, we have Aiden up front with the closed lantern. There is going to be a, a nearly imperceptible light coming out of it. It's not going to give any distance. Next person in line, just hand on shoulder. Well, it would probably be Ray. Ray, following Ray. Frankie. Frankie, following Frankie. Me. Okay, so Ryan brings up the back. Yeah. Okay, so you kind of choo-choo train around. You're doing all right. You're not going quickly. You're going to make your way around the sarcophagi. You come into the first room that has statues. Now, before you stop in there, my question to you is, did you ask about the statues as far as if you guys think these are the statues coming there, would you have discussed that enough where Aiden would be able to say something. Did we discuss what statues we think yeah, are going to be? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you know that this is not the room. You need to go through this room. Those statues would not fit in. Okay, that's what... All right. And uh, I'm specifically... My thinking is the statues he ran into were the ones I saw. In the oh, they were. Well, but we never, like, confirmed... Well, wait, didn't we confirm that? I feel like we would have... At some point in this discussion, we you will know that those are the Ramsey statues. Okay, so then, uh, I'm yeah, I'm going to be looking for those. For okay, second. so you know they wouldn't fit in here, so you make your way through to the far side. As you come in, Ray, I need you to give me a willpower roll. Oh, do I? A demon. You are still possessed. <laughs> Gosh darn it, I'm getting out those double fives. 16, which is horrible. You should spend a chip. Yeah, I'd like to. England, Everything out. demonic appears to just Wonder require ridiculous rolls, so I'd like to spend the chip. I, I, I would like to say, in defense, and please make your roll before I talk. <laughs> Everything demonic you guys have guessed is taking ridiculous rolls, so you have re-rolled. 16. So with the 16, we're fine, we're moving on. <laughs> so you, are, you come into that room. So in that room, because you have just enough light from the front, you can see it. There are two, you're fairly certain, based on the shape and size, two of the Ramsey's statues are in place. They don't look polished as far as their placement. They look like they're still being set. There are a number of other statuary in here. These are sitting Ramses. They are sitting on a chair that is effectively a four-sided or pyramidal base. Then the chair back is from there and they sit at it. They sit about 15 feet in height. They are exceptionally heavy. So the two of them are sitting there, again, not, not what you think would be in place. There are a number of other statues in here. The one that you know, that you remember, is a beautiful Anubis statue that maybe 20 years ago was found in one of the sections of the temples at Karnak, cleaned up, very much polished up, and this is really kind of an iconic piece for anybody coming and looking. You go into the room, where do you go? Uh -huh. There are a number of other statues the standouts for you would immediately be those two and Anubis. I can tell you more if you need. We confirm then it's those two statues. Do we want to do? But one? there were three. There were four. I thought the third one, the fourth one, was missing at one the point. The fourth one was missing at one point, but there were four. It's moving here. So right. we could. Uh, so we're missing two. We could go check some other rooms. I mean, we could. We've confirmed, but we need to know. I want to try something very stupid, but Frankie, I might need your help. Oh. <laughs> Come with me for a sec. I'm going to walk right up to the statue. Yep. I'm going to pop as... the little <laughs> leather on my revolver okay. holder. Right. Holster. Just be ready to pull me away if any weird lights start I'll flashing. I'll say, Frankie, don't you touch that statue. All right. All right if you want to go like, up I'll and keep a look out. Uh -huh. Make sure okay. that noise. So I... tell me where everyone is. We know that Ray is walking to the statue. Frankie is walking to the statue with Ray. And Ray has said... If any weird lights happen, pull me back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. I'm going up to uh, keep a lookout. So you're going around the front of the statues, uh -huh. uh, looking out the windows. So yeah. your, your focus will be faced I'll, out yeah. the front I'll of the windows. I'll be 10 feet from Ray. Okay. Just in the dark, I guess. It, well, I mean, there's... Uh, again, it's 
very, very dark, but it is not so pitch black that you can't see things. You can see oh. the outlines of everybody fairly easily. That's all I need to shoot. All right. And you have your weapon drawn? No, no. It just you just popped. have the, the latch pulled. Yeah. All right. I'm going to pull down over to the side and be like, you got that shot. Okay, you might want to get it ready. <laughs> okay. All right. Ouch. I would add an extra dose, too, because that's like taking down an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb Pedro Bain thought he meant the gun, and now, and now I realize. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay, he wants me to shoot Ray if this gets bad. Okay, he didn't. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, so do you lock back down the pistol and? Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'll say, uh, Ray, wait a moment. And I'm gonna come up to Frankie, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out a, a syringe, and say. It's, it's tranquilizer in case something happens. You don't want to kill him right away. Do you believe you spoke quiet enough to Frank? The, the objective is to be quiet yeah. enough. Oh, no, I don't care. Ray, Ray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to you, Ray, but if it gets hairy, if you can choose to kill him or you could use this. Well, I fully expect this to get hairy, so whatever you guys need. Good luck, Ray, and then I'll scamper. I'll take it and put it in my pocket. Meanwhile, <laughs> don't put it in the syringe! <laughs> put it in your pocket! I'll put it carefully there's, there's no, in there's, my This pocket. is not a time of, like, safety needles. I, I gotta be, have my hands free. What do you mean? There's a it's syringe? Got one of, it's got one of the no, yes, yes no, it has a plunger so, too. Yeah, but it's still an open needle so, so if it uh, twins well, you, they're doing that. open needle in my pocket. <laughs> I'm Is going it... to go over to the Anubis statue mm -hmm. and uh, I'm gonna pull out just... some paper <laughs> and do rubbings. Okay, so this. you're completely focused <laughs> away. I love it. Okay. Please put a character point. <laughs> All right. two more for Ray going up to the statue. And and just for note, what Wolf is doing, Wolf's trying to figure out what Wright did to get six <laughs> yeah. out of four. And I would expect that to be driving you nuts. It you're is. Not, you're not in, in the living room with like a smoking jacket and a Ooh, I'm better than you. you. You look through, just real quick, off the group, sure. you look through your supplies. There, there are a few things that are slightly, and I mean slightly, maybe millimeter or two less than, than mm -hmm. should be in there, but anything could have happened. He could have spilled them. There could have been there could have been evaporation. There's nothing that's so far gone that you're like, oh, and he poured in, you know, eleven ounces of this or, you know, twenty four million ounces. Yeah. You know, and I'm like I'm checking my notes in case I'm checking the notes I left in case yep. he made notes and he didn't. And he did not make any changes to your notes. You yeah. In in taking a quick test, which I don't know what more you could do other than stick yourself, which even that wouldn't necessarily help. Well, it's not but even... in smelling it, yeah. in in the in the quick tiny sample, it, it looks like he just successfully made more full doses of stitch. Yeah, he did. But this is definitely going to bother you. Yeah, it's definitely going to bother it's, you. It's, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, this is going to keep me up all night. <laughs> it's just like so. Did we leave, as I envisioned, somewhere 10-ish in the yeah. evening? With the extra time, you guys know that it should be somewhere around midnight. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have Aiden, which is your corruption, something like Driven or... Uh, which one? All right. <laughs> well, desire or Drive. Dry. Well, what I'm curious about is, is do you envision that the corruption is what's driving you to do the rubbings? No, nope, it's just intellectual curiosity. Just intellectual curiosity. curiosity. Very because good. Because I, I, so out of character, I remember yep. hearing somebody had talked about it and it hadn't been seen, and it's here, and so I'm thinking maybe it's part of something to do with these statues. Oh, perfect. All right. So that's why I'm taking the rubbings. And you do understand the Anubis statue has been here. It, did, it was not new. Right? Did I did did you okay? Then I misunderstood that? that, and I probably want to be taking the rubbing. Well, it's there. from right. the same temple, right? No, no, okay. no, no. See, that's, that's what I, different. See, I so, thought so. Was an Anubis. I'll run you back. It's a beautiful, newly brought out Anubis statue. It has been cleaned up and put in here, but it has been here much longer than these two new statues. Okay, you've seen it before. You haven't rubbed it before, but you've seen it. before. But so, so I'll, I'll go again. Then one is probably then I'd probably be waiting to see what's going to so happen. So you are there. standing watching, right? Still holding the lantern, but it's still shut, right? And I'll look over at Raya, or Raya to see if you have any. Uh, give me a sign or anything. If so Raya is actually facing outward, out looking out the window. So you can see her silhouetted. There's no question she's. You suspect she's listening, but she is not watching the group, right? As you look around, this is what you see. So Raya's at that front window facing outward. We have Dr. Wright doing 
Oh, I'm just standing ten feet away, hand kind of like on my gun. All right, so you you know that his hands on the gun. We have Frankie. How close to Ray? Foot. Okay, and you've put the syringe in your pocket, or you have it in one of your two hands. It's in my pocket. It's in your pocket. All right. So Ray is how far away from the statue as we start into this? I mean, I'm basically going to be within a foot, two foot, basically arms reach distance. So. There are four sides to the statue. The front of the statue where the feet are. That is where you were the last time you did it. To the left and right of the statue, obviously the sides. The back is where you're currently standing. All right, so where I'm... do you walk to? The front of this statue is on the side that Raya is on. The back of the statue effectively is where the rest of you are. It's like, it's, uh, probably just look up and like, okay, where, where exactly... I'm on the wrong side. Now I'm going to start walking over to... Basically, I want to be where I was. Very good. You are now at the front of the statue. Frank is a foot away. I shift to where I can see him. Okay. So you want to be able to see him, have a clear shot? I want shot. a 10-foot clear shot. Clear shot. And would you be towards the window? You don't have to be to get the clear shot, but would you be towards the window, which would give you slightly better light? But marginally so. You, you, yeah, I mean, you think you could make the shot. I wouldn't have thought about the window. I'd think about the light. Whatever, right. Wherever I can go to get the best and shot. And shot. Now, oh, now that Ray has walked his way slowly to the front. I am probably staying where I am. Okay. So, Ray, I'm assuming that you're a little nervous about this. You, yeah. You kind of flex your fingers. Do you wear gloves? No. All right. <laughs> kind of flex your fingers and rub your hands together. Frank, you've seen in Fighters before. He's definitely nervous, not scared, nervous. Tell me what you do. All right, so I'm going to hold my hands above the statue like I did when I first encountered it. All right, when before I was you do anything it. else, before you do anything else, other than Raya, the other three of you, please make me a wits roll. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> Tell me if you get higher than 16 or higher. <laughs> Did anyone get 16 or higher? 17. So, Dr. Wright, I need you to give me a willpower roll. Oh, my. Oh, my. I don't want to get it. <laughs> Your reward for getting the 16 is make a willpower. Uh, okay, I'm going to use my final reroll on that. 18. An 18. You start feeling the hairs on the back of your neck come up. You've played with the Jacob's Ladder enough times to realize that there is static electricity moving through here. Though you don't see it, you can feel that same feel when you get too close as you connect the ladders for your ladder. I mean, honestly, I've been looking around to see if I can see any Tesla-like power. Like, I mean, anything. That's what I would think, right? You, Dr. Wright, know that there are two Tesla towers in Cairo. I believe you were around when we discussed the fact that they're only on for a certain portion of the day. There are, were lights as you walked up. There were lights out in the street. So you would believe, because they were not lamp lights, excuse me, they were not gas-lit lamp lights, you would assume that the Tesla tower is running or they're running on a battery. But they don't generally create that static in the air for, like, us, Yeah. You know? Tesla towers absolutely do not. Yeah, so well, at least at a distance, up close, yes. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just trying to think of some explanation. If you want to go that far and extrapolate out, give me an intelligence roll. Sure, I'll see what I can get. Uh, sixteen. So with the sixteen, I will remind you that in Spitalfields, when you guys were searching out the different things, including the laundry company and the Ajax security company. There was something going on with the Tesla Tower surges. Mm. And you believe that that could be something like static electricity surges that were coming out. But no, as a normal thing, static electricity is not a Tesla thing. And certainly not at the distance you would believe you are because you didn't see one. Now I'm wondering if this is spiritual static. Dun, dun, dun. (laughs) Um, But yeah, I'll just keep an eye on them. All right, so you keep an eye on them. All right, so Ray, you've got your hands out over it. All righty, Frankie. The demons. Remember, just... anything weird, pull me out. Got it. Tally ho! And so I just you thrust my hands onto the statue. Touch the statue. Okay. So let me start with give me a willpower roll. Please feel free to spend a chip. Yeah. That is technically better. <laughs> uh, that's a 20. So, 20. I would like. 
everybody except Dr. Wright to give me a willpower roll. Wait, and you can use concentration with will? Correct. Okay. 20. 20. You'll never have. Yeah, the answer is <laughs> how you made 6 out of 4. I'm sorry. 22. 22. Ray, did you get a roll for me as well? I already rolled a 20. For willpower? You want me to roll again? Yes, I want you to roll willpower. Okay, I want you to touch it. Well, that's when, he, that's when he rolled. He rolled his 20. No, no, from it. after you touch it. I'm sorry, oh. from after when you touch it. Okay. And Aiden? I got a 9. A 9? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Could be worse. Not really. <laughs> well, yeah. It could always be worse. You could roll double ones. That is That's model true. One hollow. It can <laughs> always. Be. It can always be worse. Well, as the guy's touching the statue, I'm probably in for a lot of trouble. But ten. <laughs> so with a ten, very good. So here's what you guys see, Doctor Wright. You are going to see him touch the statue, and then a shower of yellow light appears to come off of his head. <laughs> And you are thrown back from the statue, sliding to the back wall. No, oh, go, oh, ahead and, go ahead and give me a vitality roll. No. Okay. All right, <laughs> Bonagall, you and I are going to have a little chat. Everyone <laughs> was going to get showered uh, in golden and I was about to. <laughs> You'll hit the wall with a thump, but you will not go out. In succession from there, Raya, go ahead and give me a vitality roll. Anything so adds to it? Do you wear armor? I do. You will, you will a... add your it will add your armor rating to that roll. Wait, I have a... Oh wait, no, I don't have it on. There's I... a different reason why Raya would, and you would not, even if you are wearing it. Yeah. Okay. She's like Batman. <laughs> That's the reason. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> so with a twenty, got like a something behind you, some force behind you hits you. You do see bright yellow light. As you smash into the front window, it's a very oh. thick window. You don't go through it. Smack into the front window and fall to the floor. Okay. So, Aiden, yeah. you had a nine for willpower. <laughs> 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 go ahead and give me a vitality You roll. just undergo the quickening. You will You're just like, oh! Four <laughs> Poor Aiden is just getting beat up so much the last oh, couple yeah. of days. That's right. At this rate, I should be making it to England in a body bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you interact with our gang. Like seven, but minus four makes it three. Your total is a three. Yeah. Why don't you spend a chip? There are there for a reason. Yes, they I are. I guess I'll spend a chip. I don't uh, think we have any left. We have two now. And fun fact: Barry is having to spend them all before we have to fight. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But this is will, right? Yes. Or no, vitality. no, this is vitality. Uh, so, mm, Seventeen minus four. Right, doesn't he? <laughs> so a thirteen. Do you have armor on? Yes. And, and subtract, give me that number as well. One. So so actually you will end up with a 12. So you will get flung, you were facing the statue, you will get flung head over <coughs> heels and over head, you will smack into one of the statues there. As it drops you down, you are going to take a serious wound to anyway. the torso. I was going to ask, is there any way possible I could use my acrobatics to like... Kind of cool somersault. I, so I, I don't would take normally say damage. yes, but it was so sudden. Okay, you were just thrown and hit. So Frankie, serious wound. closest to Ray. No, Frankie. So Frankie did not have the syringe in hand. So Frankie, go ahead and give me a vitality roll. So a fourteen. Frankie is also going to be blasted back. Does Frankie have armor? Yes. And did you add that number to it? No. Two, so sixteen. Wait, so Barry, just on mine, if I was supposed to add the armor to it as one, no, 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 it, would no, have no. Been it effectively okay. subtracted from the total damage. Oh, okay, okay. Because so, we were past yours. Two armor. So it has a two. So you will be blown backwards away from Ray. Basically, the force hits you into the chest, pushing your stomach back. So your hands and feet will go out. And you basically skid across the floor. You don't even make it to a wall. Okay. Ray. Oh, and, and everybody who was facing him will see a bright yellow light go off his head, except Raya, who wasn't. So, Ray, what was your second willpower roll? It was a 10. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ray, you touch the statue. You see a brilliant yellow light. You suddenly feel yourself fall into a hole. And for the rest of you guys, you will hear in Ray's voice yell, I am Bonagall! 
And we'll end there. Oh. No! It's back! It. It's just the power transfer. It's like I said, you were the perfect host, man. You've been repossessed! <laughs> That's exactly oh, no. it. He was repossessed. Oh. Right? So did we know that Mei Ling followed us? <laughs> <laughs> Next oh, week. Right. <laughs> Thank you for listening to another NCRP Productions podcast. To stay on top of everything we're doing, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook, all at NCRP Productions. You can show your support and help us continue to produce content by joining our Patreon. We offer additional podcasts like our B-Sides and have GM materials, maps, and other fun things you can discover over time. You can find our podcasts on YouTube, Anchor, Spotify, Apple, Google, and many other fine podcast sites. Just look for us at NCRP Productions. We value your thoughts, so please don't hesitate to leave us feedback or comments. And if you would like to contact us directly, you can email us at ncrpproductions at gmail.com.